will start our jack speed okay now we'll see it i'm started here okay examples like here new new java project java project triple zero one tax b examples our next it's not a maven project i have to give this maven project new others maven project next click on next create simple project click on next com dot cnotech com dot cnotech okay now triple zero one jacks b project triple zero one jacks b okay project t triple zero one jacks b project okay now click on next now same jacks b project this is jacks b project click on finish click on finish team okay now next one see i need to add what jars team jacks b jars i should add team go to google jacks b maven dependency go to google jacks b maven dependency jacks b maven dependency not okay rest uh, jacks b okay api maven dependency dependencies dependencies and okay dependency okay now now here cd now here is my xml file here i want to get this xml time team notepad is drawback you cannot read only this one in notepad that's why i should go for notepad plus plus let's see I can read only that part team what is that part if it is alt alt shift i press alt shift with mouse now whatever you want you can get it here new xml file is called xml product dot xml Control Shift F format want format you want okay you really require that okay no, no problem it is your product dot XML now I need to create one Java object new class com dot synotech model product why i should again uh, type it so much of code already have product i will copy here instead of typing again i am copying the okay that's it here alt shift t alt shift alt shift alt shift yeah only these properties right alt shift okay team fine then alt sr alt a are okay source generate okay, okay setters and getters team
source generate a shutter sound and get our stream. That's it. Good. Any questions, team? Now we are good. Now we are good, team. Okay, now, now we'll start our marshalling and unmarshalling. New class marshalling. I'm writing here it's simple one. Sir, one small yeah. thing. Which, which type of project you make, sir? It is Maven project, uh, sir. Okay. I have added. Thank you. Now I am doing some POC on Jaxby. Actually, this process internally will be taken care by your uh, Spring Rest. But whenever I am showing Spring Rest example, you should not get doubt how this one, how this Java object automatically will convert XML and how this uh, you know JSON will do. Instead of getting doubts at that time, I am doing POCs, one POC on Jaxby, one POC on Jackson, sir. So you will get crystal clear to start our spring rest example. Got it? I am taking full Maven project standalone. I added only Jaxby okay, dependency into here. I added only Jaxby okay, dependency into here. Any doubts, please, please ask me. Are we clear? Yeah, now. I took one simple product.xml. I only okay, written this one thing. Now, it is product, simple model class I have taken product. Now, if you want, I can remove this. I can remove this one also. Let's see. No, okay, okay, what is this? Okay, remove means I will not add this, this one now. Okay, let's see. No. See, now main method, that's the context, context is equal to that's the context dot new instance, new instance, new instance. class here you have the model class either you should give that model class name or you can give that to package name it's all no problem context path it is asking okay later we will write in separate Um, dot cnotep dot actually I'm moving this into March. Yeah, yeah. Now here the marshalling is done. Now here what I'm doing, I need to prepare Java object, right? I need to prepare my Java object. Alt shift Java object. I have Java object is ready. What is the error? We'll see. I have Java object is ready. Please let me know if any doubts. Now, now what should Java object is ready? Now here what should I do? Now Jacks be context dot. Dax B context dot create marceller create marceller is equal to marceller m dot marcel What you want to pass? You are passing Java object. Output is as of now print in, in our console output. Let's see. Okay, errors may come. I will resolve the errors. Unable to convert. 
yes i told right see wantedly wantedly i am showing this error com dot stenotech model does not obtain object factory class or jacks b index so now what is the intention of here means let's see at the rate xml root element annotation at the rate xml root element annotation will take care to while converting your java object into xml how you are how you are jacks b knows what is the root element what is the child elements all are child elements your jacks b will knows hey while converting object to okay, xml i should take this as a root element all these are called child elements let's see still is the issue does not contain object to factory or could not be instantiated that's why i could go straight away with instead of this let's see let's see run as java application yes perfect sir see no you are trying to see your java object is automatically converting into xml is it okay xml is coming or not here i am doing okay empty i am copy paste of okay, xml which is came from here console here copy go to here paste control shift f see card the xml or not this is a simple jacks b class if you go your architecture you will not write any your code and never you are using java to your consumer end whenever you are preparing your java object internally internally your spring framework using this kind of code to convert your java object into xml this xml will be sending to your provider you will not write this code developer will not write this code your framework will write automatically this code team okay your framework will write automatically this code okay you will not write this code team understand sir please whenever you are writing this one okay internally your jacks b will be taken care your jacks b will be taken care to convert okay everything so so internally for every request at consumer end your okay your spring rest your spring framework your spring framework okay your spring framework will take care write this snippet of the code convert their java object into xml now we'll see what is your xml to java object to sir so now this xml will go to where now this xml will go to where your provider please 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 okay i will give time what type of your provider you know your spring framework will write the unmarshalling unmarshalling the process of converting xml to java object is called unmarshalling jacks b context context is equal to jacks b context dot new instance of new instance of unmarshalling
no context dot context dot create create unmarceler no what it returns unmarceler unmarceler okay unmarceler unmarceler dot create unmarceler dot unmarcel will take file where is your file alt enter location of your file Marshall means here it is a let's see will it come as a product or not dot out dot print then product id is run as java application see i got the product id or not see if you give xml it will convert automatically into java object if you give a xml it will convert automatically into java object understand sir so every for every request consumer and marceling provider and unmarceling for every response Provider end to marceling, consumer end unmarceling. That means now here see for every request, consumer end to marceling, no provider end unmarceling will happen. For every response, provider end to marceling, and consumer end unmarceling will be happened. For every request, consumer end to marceling and provider end unmarceling will happen. For every response, provider and uh, marshalling and consumer and unmarshalling will have, will be happened. Not we will not write this code. So in 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 REST APIs in REST APIs development, okay development Spring framework Spring framework internally internally will be internally will be using JAXB. JAXB, okay, JAXB to taking care of to taking care of marshalling and unmarshalling unmarshalling that is developer developer no need to no need to no need to write this no need to write this code no need to developer no need to write write this code manually okay understood sir how to do what to do now we'll see practically sir okay. everyone is clear about jaxb so jaxb context will written type will be string or xml only sir that oh, it is that one. this one right yes sir it is a overloaded method sir you have a class overloaded method new instance you have a string you have a class string means only package name class means directly it will take that class name it will try to convert you know your your xml to java object and the java object to xml 
got it yes sir yeah any questions team please ask sir the, please the ask last me. the last statements that you put in for every request consumer yeah. and uh, marshalling pro pro oh. provider and on marshalling is yeah. it always true sir it can be the other way around also right no or, no 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 if you are in a, if you are in a web services world every time if you are in java your java object to xml at consumer end same xml will go to provider provider end what happened it will convert xml to java object why provider will receive always okay xml again if you go for response what your provider will do your provider will prepare okay response as your java object your java object will be converting into xml at provider end this xml will reach to whom your consumer consumer end what it will be happen xml to again java object it is unmarshalling if the consumer is like normal user normal user means like like that's like, what like i'm people. i'm i'm asking if it is java okay understood okay. if it is angular you are trying yeah. to say yeah yeah that is different Thank my you. intention is yeah yeah if you are the java if it is dot net angular php in that story different got it sir thank you yeah, yeah. no no you'll start using json Okay, everyone is clear, team. Okay, good. Now, if already okay, XML is there, why market is using JSON? First, if already XML is there, XML data format is there, why we should go for JSON? See, in compared with XML. See now here, XML is number one. XML is lightweight. Uh, okay, okay, heavyweight. Okay, first I will talk about JSON. So you will be understanding JSON. Next I will give a okay, difference to you. What is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. it is derived from javascript but not depending on javascript it is derived from javascript but not depending on javascript okay now please try to understand json is lightweight why lightweight i will explain and human readable text okay now so json json data json mime type is application slash json here json file name is a extension with json file names extension with dot json json file name to okay, extension with the dot json okay now that means json data types are json data json data is always in key value pair that means here key 1 colon value 1 key 2 colon value 2 key 3 colon value 3 so index for example order id or product id is 1 2 3 product name mobile 
no product description maybe the description is not there product description maybe the description is not there no no product mm. is product delivered to no. product id product name product description quantity one one no here no in json try to understand in json key is always string key is always string but value may be but value will be string value will be number value will be null value will be boolean like true or false now value will be an object see now here string number boolean true or false object okay these are called json data types these are called json data types people are asking how many json data types one is string string is a one of the json data types another one is number another one is null another one is array what is array i will explain another one is object another one is boolean true or false these are called json data types string number null array object boolean these are called json data types these are called json data types now you'll write to sir me. yeah please for example we have like xsg like uh, for rules right for json we have anything for the structure rules we have swagger only our json swagger no means in xml we want the rules so we will go have for everything okay. yeah yeah okay now let me explain that uh, tarun okay deviate okay now here see so this is one json data types okay now how to write see in in okay, xml also you have an array now what is an array xml simple i have a products i have your products a products may have n number of products it is an array list in java it is an list a products may have n number of product n number of product product 1 product 2 and product 3 product 1 product 2 and product 3 that's it similarly how it is in json you know json always json data always in curly braces and array data in square brackets array data in square square brackets okay json data is always in curly braces always in curly braces and array data in square brackets array data in square brackets array data in square brackets okay now array data in square brackets okay now okay let's see okay now okay example team example one you have simple this is one example either you can write like this but if you want some forward json you can move like this how is a exact more uh, json structure more format this one that's it that's it.
see how looks like it is more beautiful than this one it is json format okay thing now okay next one okay next one see same now okay example okay it is very important team hey okay rest api go to the google uh, download it uh, one card operation anyone can do if you have basic knowledge but these internals very rare you will get it team very rare you will get it these of internals okay please now okay example two what is okay example two you have now object how the object Let's assume that I have here some. I have here some customer dot JSON. What are the properties are there with uh, customers? Customer properties are we have. What is customers? First name. What is customer? Last name, last name. No. I am not writing too many properties here. Now, what is the customer may have account details, right? Account. What are the account balance? Account means what? What is your account number and balance? Only two properties. I am not writing complex in your projects. You may have complex. In our project, we may have complex team here. I am writing skeleton. In your real time, you would have complex team. Please, account number. What is the balance? Apart of this, in your real time. Apart of this, in your real time. Now, here, what would be happen? One is account is done. Other one is. One is account is done other one is now mm, so now may he, he may have orders orders let's see array array i am using here why there might be n number of orders will be there there might be n number of orders will be there how i am writing all these orders order id one two three Order name, mobile, comma, and so on. We need to write a number of orders. We need to write a number of orders. Okay, now this is done. It is a orders. It is a account. It is a first name, last name. Okay, now done. So a so now is order like a description. It's also key. No, no description for this. Uh, order id you have a description for this order id any quantity number here quantity you have here we have number now my intention is key is always string doesn't matter if you see key is always string but value is it is a string it is an object. Why it is an object? It is again complex. It is an array. It is an array. Array will have always square brackets. Inside of the array, you have multiple objects will be there. Inside of the have multiple objects will be there. Understood? Now here. Now here we have C. Now here we have C T. See, this is what if already. Okay, XML is there. Why you should go for JSON team? Okay, now XML, XML versus JSON. 
XML data is heavyweight. Why? Because for every for every start element, because every XML document root element and for every start element end element is required end element is required because of this size XML size would be more JSON data is lightweight no need root element no need start and end element no need end elements are required no need end elements are required third one xml should supports only java clients not recommended not recommended for angular comma javascript clients json should support all type of consumers like Java, JavaScript, Angular, React. No. XML processing time to take more to perform Java to perform marshalling and and marshalling then this one okay that's why we should have referred for what json no what is now jackson jackson means jackson is the the process of converting json to java object java object to json is called jackson is called Jackson. Is called Jackson. What is mean by JSON serialization? The process of converting converting JSON to Java object is called JSON serialization. How to do? We'll see practically. What is JSON? Deserialization. The process of converting Java object into JSON is called JSON deserialization. Deserialization. Now, example. JSON serialization. Okay, example. I will show you practically this one also. I will take simple example. I can take complex also. It's not a problem. While showing complex, I will uh, while sh showing practical, I will show you. Okay, I can convert. Go to the Google. I can convert okay, XML to JSON. Instead of I will type it. I can sh while practical. I can show you team. Okay, big big one. Convert XML to JSON. So many tools are there, not only one. Oh man. See, if you give XML, it will give JSON. It will give why it is double is coming products and okay. Okay, I can change it for JSON, no need of a root element. It is my oh it is first it is java object right let's see i have java object here product this is my java object i have a java class i have a java object let us see i'm started here alt shift i'm ending to here good copy same like earlier now here 
there is a concept is called object to mapper object to mapper is the class which is available in uh, which is available in jackson library new object to mapper it has a method mapper dot right value as string or right value it will pass as a java object it will convert your java object into json as a string how to do we'll see practically how to do we'll see practically done yes here json serialization means java object to json next one json deserialization json to java object json to java json to java object already i have my json where in google it is my json it is my json how to convert this json to java object oh. same object mapper mapper dot read value mapper dot read value read value here you should pass as a json what is the output here put here java object that's it so the process of converting json to java object the process of converting json to java object that's it if it is you have a json convert this json to java object that's it done understood team for theory you are clear team shall we jump into practical steam Sir, can you scroll a little up? Yes. Yeah. Please. I think Please. JSON serialization, the process of converting JSON to Java. Yeah, so, yeah Java object yeah. to JSON. Yeah. Here, JSON to Java object. I don't know how I have written like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I sir, when, whenever we so sir, whenever we are dealing with XML, then there is a concept of marshalling and unmarshalling, un and whenever yep. we are dealing with JSON, then it's serialization and deserialization. Yep, you are correct, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Now done. Okay, next one. Now we'll see practical of this one thing. New Maven project, please. I'm creating Maven project. create simple project Jackson Jackson project This is Jackson project. This is Jackson project. This is Jackson project. Now click on finish. Okay, now I need to add first dependencies. I need to add first dependencies. Go to here. Jackson maven dependencies so it's nothing but i am adding jars i am adding jars latest version jar i will take latest version jar i will take dependency 
dependency stream done dependencies okay dependency stream done okay now we'll see the no done okay now if you observe here this internally will pull so many annotations and core you are adding jackson data binding it will pull jackson annotations and jackson core and all team okay now go to our coding team our coding so i am preparing one as usual model object first i will write simple team next i will write complex xenotech model same model i will write here product model why i should take more whatever class is there okay instead of oh, we write again all these things i am copy paste into here but i will show you more of example on this here okay, don't worry now here it's not required but now new class json json serialized demo json serialized demo now so prepare the java object product to product is equal to new product product dot set id already i have java object i mean just for time saving instead of typing it again i am using it hope we are good with this okay instead of typing it i am using here nothing is complex team here hope you are good team you are not taking any other way copy paste and all no okay yeah my java object is okay object to mapper mapper is equal to new object to mapper now mapper dot write value as a string pass your java object what is output string product json system dot out dot print ln product json now i got the json or not i want json format default default this is a one default writer with default pretty printer but means default pretty printer means it will come automatically okay instead of this straight straight line in json it will come uh, pretty printer means it will come as a format see that's it now here what i am doing here i will go to here product to dot json fine Okay, team. From here, now I need to write new class JSON serialization demo. Sorry, deserialization Sir? demo. Yeah. Instead of string, yeah, we can return type as a JSON also, sir. Instead of string. We are returning as a string, right, sir? JSON. Uh, instead of returning as a string, we can return as a JSON also, sir. 
what json you can take it i'm not getting so what type of output you want if you have string JSON means you can this is json only right you you got it in in string format is get, getting right yes the object is in converting sure. into is it json text or not yes yeah that's only you mean to say that okay, instead of string json yes yeah. sir. yes no there is no predefined class of this json right no what is your doubt i am not getting and means uh, like xml we can directly uh, send as json to the uh... no xml also i did same only but in xml directly i am printing in the console okay. converting this one to understood here i took here now i got json how to convert my json to java object new class json deserialization okay now json deserialization next one thing object to mapper mapper is equal to new object to mapper mapper dot read value mapper dot read value new file type is java object what is java object What is Java object? This is Java object. That's it. System dot out dot print ln product. That's it thing. Run as Java application. See, you got the product object or not? Now, advanced in JSON, I will show you. Okay, don't worry. Now, are you clear with the JSON serialization and deserialization? Sir, so generally, we will we'll convert the object as right to JSON object. We have classic JSON object, right? That is okay, different use cases. JSON node is there, JSON object is there. It depends upon requirement, you should use all uh, thorough. Here I am taking string, JSON node, JSON object, different use cases will be there. It depends upon requirement. If you can't do your requirement with a string, you should go for JSON object. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Yes. Means uh, here yes, we yes. can't uh, send it as JSON object, right? Yes, yes. Now, hope uh, till now you are clear, right? serialize and note very very important note. yes note one what is note one in in what is note one here i did here i did here i did here in xml i have written this 
dot in REST API development not one yeah not one for a very request consumer end JSON serialization will be happened that means not if it is a Java if it is a Java client is and number one if it is a Java client okay let's see every consumer and every consumer end every consumer end JSON serialization Java object to JSON every okay, every request and JSON serialization and provider and JSON serialization JSON to Java object will be happened will be happened will be happened sir that is confusing sir <clears throat> So when we serialize, the JSON will become Java object, right? You wrote opposite. No, no, no. Java serialization is different. JSON serialization means you are converting your Java object into JSON. No, how the marshalling? Tell me, okay, XML marshalling. Converting Java object to okay, XML. Right. Okay, here JSON serialization means converting your Java object into JSON. Okay. How? I will give one simple. You will then what? One. Then what we wrote on the top has to be corrected, sir. It, it is also corrected, yeah. Okay, right. No, the, here you are saying. Yeah. Okay. 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 But somewhere it was. No, no. Earlier we have written this later one guy has, uh, you know, gave a okay, heads up. We did uh, correct it actually. We did correction. Okay, sir. It okay? Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. No. So, if it is Java, okay, let me explain. If it is Java provider, consumer provider. If it is Java, Java object, JAXB, Java object, JAXB, XML, 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 JAXB, Java object, consumer provider, test object, JAXB. XML, XML, JAXB, request object. Every request, what happened? You will converting your Java object into XML. Who will do? JAXB will do. Here, what happened? XML to Java object. Who will do? JAXB will do. Who will do? JAXB will do. No. No, here, what happened? No, we will see. So response means it is a response subject. What okay JAXB will do in case of a response also will be same. If it is a response subject here, JAXB will do. What okay JAXB will do? Convert your Java object to XML in case of a response subject. Same here. In case of this okay, response subject. In case of this okay, response subject. Okay, now same style of flow now here yes sorry jackson here also you have jackson here you have jason here also you have jason that's it be clear sir 
it is a diagram are you clear here it is a response flow sir even it is a request but it is a response flow are you clear with this okay every request what happened if it is a xml it is there json okay it is there sir okay but yes yes now here see now for every response for every response provider and json realization will be happening that means your response object will be converting into and consumer and json deserialization will be happening consumer and json third point now it is these two points are point number one both provider and consumers are java now point number two consumer is angular non-java in the bracket react and the provider is java how these for every request consumer will prepare json and provider json deserialization for every response provider serialization only consumer end read the json and parse it get the data that's it. no consumer end no java object no no jackson here okay team. next one third point in 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 development in the rest api development this json to java object to json json to java object and json to java object will be taken care by spring framework itself that is spring framework internally using jackson using jackson to taking care of this developer developer no need to write no need to write manual code of manual code of json serialization and serialization Be happy team but you should know why you should know from postman you are testing your service you got json serialization error you feel like okay my java object i am not preparing properly or my json data is not valid if you know these internals if any errors will come you can able to easily pitch in that you can able to okay, identify okay because of this json data is invalid that's why json deserialization error because of java object is not proper and serialization is error so if you know these internals if any errors will be there you can able to easily uh, identify and we can able to uh, you know uh, okay, it would be uh, uh, it would be help to you to fix the issues team some json advanced topics team what are the json annotations there are so many annotations are available in json one is at the rate json property at the rate json json ignore at the rate json ignore properties at the rate json ignore type at the rate json property order the rate json include the rate json at the rate json 
blue okay no cd how it happens okay no where to use this annotations you can use many annotations json sector json getter json serialization json deserialization so now where to use this annotations team now i am taking some more uh, complex uh, object team then complex object is I am closing everything now. Complex object is customer. Please focus on team. It is good for you. Please focus on. If you understand this concepts team, writing a REST API is easy. Okay, trust me. Writing a REST API is not a big thing. If you know these basics, if you understand, you can play the games like anything team, okay, trust me. Now, await string first name. Some complex object I am taking team. My product, I am taking some complex example now. You will be able to understand what is exact last name. Email ID. See. Gender account is okay. Create one account class. Private. Account number. Balance. name source generate to string okay now good we'll okay next one now good we'll okay next one is done let's see team you have all the objects in your hand here better we'll take list of products no problem Altesar, RTA. Please go on mute team. Please. Yeah, no. This one serialized team. No, I don't want this one. No, it may be there. I'm writing some complex, right? Customer, customer is equal to new. Customer dot set customer first name customer last name customer last name set Customer email ID Customer CP Customer address Customer gender Customer account
new account set account set balance set branch branch is jubilee hills balance is 10000 account number is no done account is done team now account object also is done now what is the pending products team products list of products you want list you are a list new or a list okay product list dot add off how many you want add you can add one or two or three you can add all it is shift to r rename team product one Alt shift to R rename to product two. Oh, product one. Oh, product one. Okay. Now let's see team. No oh, product one. Please try to understand team. Team. No, done. Okay, team. Now let's see. Team. Here is an okay, interesting one is now uh, all are good. I will give here my customer object. Now, run as okay, Java application. Team. Run as okay, Java application. It is my customer object. Now, see where to use these annotations where to use these annotations please try to understand where to use these annotations please try to understand my my client will tell hey Srinu this is not expecting Jason I am expecting Jason like this Is more readable than I'm expecting JSON like this. If your client will asking any formats requirements at runtime, what you will do, team? You have to go manually your bean. Whenever you will change here, what happened? It will be impacting here. You will modify here. Again, it will be impacting here. Why earlier? See. If any modify your property name, it will be impacting for other places. Here, here, to string, everywhere you should modify thing. To avoid this one, instead of modifying in all the places, what I will do? Runtime, at the rate JSON property, without disturbing your without disturbing your what is your exact client requirement underscore name what is your exact client requirement last underscore name is your exact client requirement 
font underscore name. At the rate JSON property. Font underscore name. That's it. Now if you run the application, now if you run the application, run as Java application, see? See now, first name, last name, see? Here is our account number, see? Now I want to top this first name, last name. How to use top? See, it is, okay, it is happened or not, see? Earlier, JSON structure is this. After applying, JSON structure is this one. Understood, team? Now, now here what happened? Go to here. Now, so, I want order. What order I want? Order it. JSON. Property order. I want order. First, first name I want. Next. First name I want. Let's see. And as Java application. So let's see. It is order. First name. Java application. Why order is not coming? At the date, JSON property order. What is the order now here? I want first to product. First account is there. I want first product, then account. Let's see. Only objects only will come. First I want to product, then account. Let's see. Yeah, only objects will come. See why this account at the rate in JSON property. I think sir, the double order. quote is missing in the product and then double yeah. closing double quote. I don't think so. It is okay. Let's see. Yeah, you are correct. Might be. Let's see. Yeah, CT. So first to product came, next account came. I want this first name and last name is the first. It depends upon the requirement. You should use it team. First name. Yeah, last name. If the client is asking, hey, these are the critical property, please send this, this, these properties at order. So, depends upon the requirement, we will use this annotation. We have seen at the rate JSON property order, we have seen at the rate. See, while converting your Java object to JSON, my client is asking, hey, don't send uh, address so address or don't send this gender okay it is not required now every request are we getting gender now yes now client is asking please don't send gender json ignore means while converting your java object into json if you want customize your json format json data see nowhere gender here nowhere gender here i want to ignore two three properties i want to ignore not only for gender i want to ignore city and gender go ahead here at the rate json ignore properties properties Comma, 
end one. You know? Anas Jaga. No city and gender gun. City and gender gun. My requirement is I want ignore type itself. Go for this account. At the rate, which is an ignore type. It's an ignore type. Object itself, it will be ignored. Team. Let's see whether it should write it or not. It's an ignore type. Let's see. Run as Java application. See, no more account team. See, if you want ignore whole object, object itself. Okay, ignore only one property. Ignore properties. Ignore property while converting. Ignore property in JSON while converting from Java object to JSON. Here ignore multiple properties. Ignore either one property or multiple properties. Ignore multiple properties. In JSON while converting Java object into JSON. Ignore object object in JSON while converting. So display the order of elements. Display the order of elements in JSON while converting. Order of elements in JSON while converting java object into json understood team property you can you can now here override 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 our own property our own property as our own property okay, instead of okay, instead of java property as json key name as json key name team understood team now client will tell see i am i am stopping i am commenting this i am enabling all now client will tell see now run as run as java application No, it is my JSON. Java. Now client will tell. Now client will tell. See, some of the fields are null value. Let's assume that address is null. Address is null. Now product okay description is null. Okay, now here okay description also would be null. Now here what happened? Whenever you got null value, so here is okay. One description is null. One object okay description is coming. Okay, see. Let's see. Okay, run the okay application. Run as JSON. What my client is, hey, from the backend, if you are getting data, that's fine. Don't send null values to your consumers. From the backend, data will come, that's fine. Don't send null values to your consumer. How to handle it? Now, go for your object. What are the null values here? Not only here, in every class, it is a responsibility. JSON include, include, value is equal to JSON include dot not null. 
value is equal to include dot non null values huh? null values so include only non null values not only non null so many properties okay, include non default values means what is the integer default value string uh, okay integer default value is zero don't including default value as string string is null don't include don't include okay, empty values don't include non null see okay depends upon the requirement you should use here here i am using how to use go to here don't include not null while converting your while converting your java object into json while converting java object into json don't include null values don't include null values run as java application run as see why it is there here only it was only it was a problem with only it was a problem with address only it was a problem with address address means customer address is not coming customer address is not coming customer address is not coming see but still product of the description is coming i should go here product at the rate json include value is equal include non null value now run as java application see if you see product here if you see product here here your description is not coming here is coming if if value is coming is okay if value will not come then it is don't okay, include that value inside of the json this is the way how you can how 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 you can use all the annotation scheme okay don't include null comma empty comma default values while converting from java object into json these are the same json property and setter would be same thing if you want your own formats you should use serialized and deserialized team that's it any questions on this json team hope you got it with another and okay, everything team yeah you can use yeah you can use multiple includes promo go to there go to there if you want a multiple no is it value is for what array value value is only one let's see on null and uh, not empty so non null not empty duplication you can use only one it is asking only one but if you want to add multiple json include properties value string value string i think you could use here string json include properties json include properties <laughs> it is include team we can pass multiple
json filter is okay you can pass multiple json include is okay okay json include is okay it should come non null not empty at the rate json include include dot non null include include dot Here null is always uh, considered as okay, empty only. Null is always considered as okay, empty only. Whenever you got these kind of requirements, uh, you should use JSON include properties team. JSON include properties. You can't use multiple uh, you can go for json include properties as above include properties uh, not ignore at the rate json include properties what is you want to include string array String array, string array, value would be array, default array. Let's see here. Here include include non null. Comma include include non empty non empty. Do you want to add anything? It is an array. Something team. No, yeah. Let's see team. Intentionally, <coughs> I am adding here some empty. First, I will comment here. I will comment here. I will comment here. Few properties I will make them as city is empty. Address is null. Let's see. City is empty, address is null. I don't want this product. City is empty, address is null value. Let's see. Run the application. Java application. It is empty. Address is null. Here is that. Address is null. Okay. Here is my okay requirements. I am commenting this. Ignore property order also. Now you will understand still more. Please concentrate team. You can do it. It's not a problem. See. City is empty. Here is address 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 is null value team now i am enabling this annotation include properties only when non null not empty properties let's see run as java properties oh man include properties okay include non null not empty json include properties it is including only okay include only include means only these values only it is okay, expecting got it got it is not suitable for this one yeah no it is it is asking uh, means this intention is only include address only not all 
this is not same as that one yeah as of now you could only one team if any i would um, find right multiple i will let you know okay. include properties will not be work include means only what are the properties you want to okay, include okay that's it not same because of you give only two non null it is empty means you don't want to work including all huh? so that's why it is empty because with non null nothing is happening it is giving okay empty i would um, find how to include multiple uh, of use cases i will update it okay yeah 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 that means okay include properties means okay it will include only json gender and city only okay it won't be okay, included all okay it won't be okay, included all see at the rate json means from the back end i will get it so many properties i don't want all the properties i want only i want only my uh, customer email id and customer address I want only this one only required. I don't want required all. So now here what it will do? Only these these value only will will be okay included. See, okay, include properties means from the back end thousand properties will come. I don't want thousand. I want only my requirement is only these two only. Why unnecessarily I need all these properties? depends upon the requirement all this json annotations will be used i am thinking how to use annotations wise not coding wise okay without writing the coding how can we do that is what we are trying here yeah. because in rest api you will not write okay, object mapper coding so you will write only this beans only so in during your project development you will not write object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper if you write this your statement is correct but our our uh, our uh, scope is declare the beans declare this annotations your spring rest framework will write internally code of object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper it will take care so we have to do our r d only via annotations 40 years old 40 years old of this okay, http http 40 years old of this okay, http principal steam 40 years old okay, http http protocols now, now what are the http standard steam what is uri what are the http method and what are the response codes okay are status codes 40 years old of this web futures team 40 years old of this web futures means 40 years old of this web futures means HTTP team first one 40 years old of this web features means okay, HTTP features team first one Forty years old of this web features means okay, HTTP features team HTTP URI methods status codes and all team on top of this HTTP features rest guys has given some principal steam on top of http features rest guys has given some principles what are the principles rest principles like URI, like resource, like okay, representation, 
URI resource like okay representation URI resource like okay representation KTOs KTOs uniform whenever your REST API will follow all these principles will follow all these principles whenever your application will follow all these principles then it will become as a rest team then it will become as a rest whenever it follow all these principles then it will become as a rest team then it will become as a rest team it become as a rest team become as a rest no so first in 10 minutes we will see team what is the this uri what is the resource what is the representation and all next we would move to our annotations team resource everything is representing as a resource team everything is representing as a resource everything is like representing as a resource team resource okay everything is like represented as a resource everything is like represented as a everything is okay existing existing as physical is called resource is called resource team in our in our terminology team in our terminology team here of example in our a controller class is a resource a file is called resource image is called resource and so on all are called resources resources next question what is uri uri stands for uniform resource identifier url stands for uniform resource locator the difference is url versus uri difference is http colon www dot sinotech dot com is the url is the url is the url team http colon sinotech dot com slash slash courses as spring you are a uniform resource identifier http colon tinotech.com slash courses slash web service slash rest all right http colon courses slash test slash microsystem service uri so these are called uri uri stands for uniform resource identifier it will identify a spring resource it will identify a rest resource it will identify a microservice resource URL means only sinotech.com. I would say URL is a super set of URI. URIT. So people are asking difference between URL and URI. So URI is the super set of URL. 
So URL is only srinutekut.com and URI will be like amazon.com, amazon.com slash books slash what, amazon.com slash products slash, it is called URI. URI stands for to identify the URI is uniform resource identifier. Uniform resource identifier. Understand team, now. Next one. What is the next one? A relation between URI and resource. So how it happens? Now here you have a URI. It is a resource. Resource 1. Resource 2. Resource 3. R1, R2, R3. Now, here 1 to 1 is okay. 1 URI 1 and able to call 1 resource. That's fine. Okay. 1 URI can able to call 1 resource. URI 1. Two URIs can able to access multiple resource. That's fine. But single URI does not call multiple. That means one URI is, is able to call one resource team. Here, okay, one to one is okay. Two URIs, it's nothing but HTTP colon rest or micro services both can occur representing same resource team maybe rest syllabus and micro services you feel like it is a same okay team but but single uri does not refer to multiple resources single uri does not refer to multiple resources that means one to one is okay. That means menu to one is okay. One to one is okay. Menu to one is okay. Now one to many is not okay. It's nothing but oh, one Gmail ID, Gmail ID and uh, person, Gmail ID to two, two Gmail IDs will have single persons. Two Gmail IDs may have two single person team. Okay, okay it's all like it depends. But single email ID, single Gmail ID does not belongs to two persons single gmail lady not belongs to two persons single gmail id does not belongs to two persons understand team or any questions team sir yeah. one question yeah, so please. under the resource uh, the controller is logical entry right but you mentioned everything that is physical as a resource controller is my intention is controller file like controller class controller oh, class oh. Okay. okay okay dot java file dot sure, java sure. file sure. got it i mean it's my okay rest api resource class it is got it sir no. So are we clear? No. Yes. Third one is okay, representing means simple definition means how you are representing your data. That means I have a client, I have a server.
I have a client, I have server. Client will send a request. HTTP request to your server. And uh, server will give a response. Client will send a request. Server will give a response. Client will send a request maybe slash customer ID. Server will give a response with this customer ID. What is the response? What is the customer name? What is the customer address? Customer name and customer address. Okay. Now, if it is JSON, if it is your XML. Customer ID. name address now so how you are representing your data is called a representation that means what format you are representing your data what format you are representing data is you are representing it. what format you are representing your data and what is the request and response data formats is called a representation is it is it in the form of xml or is it in the form of json or is it in the form of text or is it in the form of a html what format you are representing because if it is so based web services only xml only rest based web services it would be support for xml json text everything it would be supporting representation means what type of data you are representing is called a representation what type of representing your data is called a representation team understood team what type of data you are representing is called a representing okay clear now what is mean by hetios hetios stands for hypertext so are you good team so all are good now okay easy only your understanding first one is what is resource Second one is what is the URI? Third one is okay, representation. Fourth one is ATOs. ATOs stands for paper text as the paper text as the engine engine of engine of application state paper text as the engine of application state paper text as the engine of application state team that means that means team what is the hypertext as the engine of application state team See, simple team. Simple it is. Now here, what is a simple one? So, this is equal to API, our REST API should, should provide the guidelines, guide or help, help to the client. 
API should provide the guide or help to the client. Help to the client through the through the application through the application by returning returning relevant information returning relevant information about the next to URIs about the next to URIs about the about the required next information next information in the form of URI in the form of URID this is okay simple team so what is simple if you are calling you are sending URIs HTTP colon localhost colon 8080 slash customers slash customer ID 123. Now what it will give the response is hello customer hello customer so now ID is 123 name is equal to Srinu good and it will give reference hey if you want call as customer of a description if you want to call as customers product slash products slash customer uh, id of the products customer id of the products team so you are helping hey okay instead of you will again framing the uri Okay, instead of you will framing okay uri now here what is happening you want you want to make a call of so and so id so and so products are okay required or not you want so see it, it api should guide help to the client through the application returning the relevant information about the required next information in the form of the apis it is called hto's hypertext engine of the application state okay team now done now uniform what is uniform interface what is uniform interface uniform interface means uniform interface means how you want how how you want how you want access the resources it supports all team like resources only only one slash accounts only but the slash accounts get is okay different slash accounts or slash products post is different but with respect to you for I same team but the operation operation would be different team how you are able to access your resources uh, you know as a standard you should follow the uniform interface team so these are the whenever you are writing any one of the rest api these are rest api you should be you should be follow all these principles team then only then only you are okay you are okay your application will be become as a okay rest api team otherwise you now based on all this all these principles rest guys okay, rest guys based on the all these okay, principles team based on the all these okay, okay principles team okay so this okay, rest people team what this okay, rest people has okay the digital team they given a one Okay, specification team they given a one specification they given one okay specification team based on this standards team so there is a person is called i field team there is a person is called rye field okay rye fielding rye fielding team so who is the 
okay, invented this actual rest. According to this guy, according to this guy, hey, rest is an architectural style. Rest is an architectural style. Rest stands for representational state transfer. Representational state transfer. So rest is an architectural style. Architectural style means it is a theory or it is a concept. It is a theory or it is a concept. How take this theory? Take this theory. How you will implement? How you will implement in your technology? Is it's your wish. It's an architectural style. It's a theory. This Rai guy, you know, this Rai Fielding guy has did one paper, okay, one publishing one paper in his PhD. This guy is saying that why people are struggling with um, soap-based web services, only data format is like XML only. It's a theory. This guy don't know Java, data, PHP and all. The way he is given theory, hey, I am providing providing this if you follow this it will be good based on this architectural now here what this uh, there are so many you know so many guys as this rest take this all principles java guys has introduced a one api is called jaxrs jaxrs and spring rest these days market no one is implementing jacks rs the concepts are same only concepts are same spring rest annotations only are different here the implementation configurations are different here jacks rs is an specification which is given by rest guy there are so many implementation classes are there it's like ddbc is an api how the implementations are MySQL and Oracle is there. Jax RS is an interface, you know, okay, API which is given by Java guys. Similarly, .NET guy also by reading the specification, .NET guy also implemented .NET APIs. PHP guys implemented PHP APIs. Here, Jersey is one of the guy, and uh, Rest Easy is one of the guy, and Apache CXF, Apache CXF is okay, okay one of the and are and also okay, restlet is one of the vendor so these many okay, vendors are their team these many vendors are their team spring rest maybe spring rest internally will be using jersey only because spring rest is in java this uh, jersey implementations also may be java team spring rest is home java apache cxf home apache guys team Restlet also is looks like same other other vendor team not sure so spring rest spring itself is the implementation vendor team spring might be internally will be using jersey uh, to provide the rest api team hope you got clear but market is stopped this okay development using earlier in in our days we used to develop uh, okay, develop so many rest apis using jacks rs Team. Now, when Spring Boot came into the picture, everyone is adopted using this okay, Spring Rest team. Everyone is adopted using Spring Rest. Spring Rest is more compatible with uh, Spring Boot. Jax RS also is compatible with Spring Boot, but unnecessarily extra plugins and uh, need to add more configurations and all. If it is okay, Spring Rest, right? No configurations, no okay, dependencies are required. Everything will be taken care by who? Everything will be taken care by whom? Your spring only team. Now are we good team? Hope we are in we are in the okay, right place team. Rest API principles. Hope you are good now. Okay, are we good team? Okay, till now. Okay, everyone. Please okay, respond team. If you are good, then we'll continue. Okay, are we good okay, till now? Okay, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Now, now we'll see it in. So, so as I told earlier, in a REST API, we have two entities are there. 
one is provider another one is consumer in a rest api in a rest service two entities team one is provider another one is consumer now another one is consumer first we will write team how to provide the service how to provide the service next we will write how to consume the service team how to consume the service team before that what are the spring rest annotations spring rest annotations team one is update rest controller another one is update request mapping another one is update get mapping at the rate post mapping at the rate put mapping at the rate delete mapping at the rate path variable at the rate request to param at the rate matrix variable at the rate request to header at the rate request to body at the rate response body these are the rest jacks spring rest annotations team if you understand this spring rest you can understand easily team now let us start team if you understand this spring rest you can understand easily about this rest team if you understand this spring rest you can understand this rest api okay easily team okay, let us see now how to write one simple one Okay, team. Now let's see team. how to use this one. How to use this one? Okay, now, let's see team. I want to develop one simple of REST API. I want to develop one of REST API team. First, I will write one simple application. How to write in this okay, in simple application? Okay, let us see team. We'll see team one simple application. We'll see public class product service. Public product get all products. Public get all products. Public product get the product by ID. Input is string ID. ID. I'm reducing size team intentionally. We will see public product response create product. Now it is go product request request public wide update product. What we want update update product public wide delete product delete product. Okay, now let us see. So we have given some spaces and all we are good okay everything is good delete okay you'll see delete is not required now you'll give one space also here okay, that's fine looks like all good team now it is my simple rest api it is my simple rest api it is my simple class plain java class it is it is my plain java class how can I expose this plain Java class as a REST API? How can I expose this plain Java class as a REST API? Please focus team. See, in your real time, if you want to convert your simple Java class as a one distributed application, so if, if whenever this normal class will be become as a REST API, then only your consumer can able to access this one from the remotely otherwise your consumer cannot access this from the remotely otherwise your consumer cannot access this from the remotely 
please try to understand please try to understand the please try to understand now so how can you convert this normal class as a rest api means you have to declare your class as a at the rate it rest controller great rest controller so, now rate of rest controller rate of rest controller scope is only at class level to declare this as a one small crest api how to call this service how to call this service means so you need to have uri right it should be mapping request to mapping it should be mapping request to mapping slash v1 slash v1 sir please try to understand so this other rate request to mapping is applicable at class level as well as method level please try to understand class level and method level now okay, next one okay, next one what is the next one here please try to see next one sir now so is it get one or is it post one it's in get only get the data from your server get the data from your server now please try to understand two ways you can do simply you can do at the rate get mapping as products you can give either you can give at the rate get mapping or you should give request mapping what is the value what is the comma method what data format you want what data format you want what data format you want application slash json what data format you want application slash json you want to both application slash json xml now we'll see here i want json or i want xml now how you are representing your data how you are accessing your data uri and what type of uh, operation it is get or post everything you should specify team specify team now here here what it will do please try to understand me slash products slash one two three i want retrieve here the first resource all the products second resource only one two three product only i want i want this data in the form of xml how your representation it is there are you representing your data in the form of xml are you representing your data in the form of text are you representing your data what data format you are representing is very very important understood now okay next one create product request of mapping value is equal to products here it is called post remember here content type it is the content type it is not for format content type is a okay, request representation what is accept response representation i will explain content type is always request accept is of response application slash json i would explain to you give me how to access this one here this guy will prepare one swagger documentation swagger documentation will be given to whom your consumer This guy will prepare one swagger documentation. Swagger documentation will be given to one, one consumer. One consumer. How to access this one? HTTP colon localhost slash v1 slash products. That's it. This is the URI to access this, not that one. URI to access this, which one? This one. It is the URI, is the input. 
So now, now what is the output here? List of products. Output is list of products. I don't want right now because due to space issues and all. Due to space issues and all, I am writing this. Anyhow, we are going to see practically this example. List of products. Team. So, done. Okay, two points. In your real time, these are called okay, two points team. I will explain everything. Please give some time. No. So it is slash products slash one, two, three. Whenever you got this one, how to access second resource list of only product detail of one, two, three. The third one, what is third one? Very, very important. Third one, third one's last products only. Here, the HTTP method is get. Here HTTP method also is get to here HTTP method as is here post here enable here input here input your consumer has the responsibility to provide the product ID product name and so on please to understand team please please any doubts please ask me if you know this basics, you will be understanding team. No. Name. Mobile and all. Of your C. Whenever you will give this. This request will go over here. Because of accept. Your. How to convert your. Your. Consumer will send it in JSON here. Adderate request to body annotation is there. I will write here that adderate request to body annotation has the responsibility to convert your JSON to Java object and return this as a object. How the response would be here? Response also would be what is the status code and what is the status or something. Saved successfully or what? Now here see. Here use case one, use case two, use case three. Whenever your client will send a request in this form, now here what it would be happen? So request will reach to here at consumer end, at provider end. Who will convert at provider end? Who will convert your JSON to Java object means at provider end there is a is called at the rate. The rate request to body product request request the rate request to body product request request at the rate request to body product request request here at the rate request to body has the responsible to con internally it will be using jack son jackson instead of developer will write the code manually instead of a developer will write the code manually this utterate request to body has the responsible to convert your request to body to convert your object into json to convert your object to, to json um, sorry json to java object it will use it internally jackson it will use it internally jackson it will use it internally jackson understand team now so here we are process the request send the response but so at the rate okay, response means so here you are preparing a okay, response object return a okay, response object but ultimately here output is your okay, response json who will convert your response object into JSON means at the rate response body. At the rate a response body has the responsible to convert. At the rate a response body has the responsible to convert Java object to 
Jason. With the help of Jackson only. With the help of Jackson only team. Understood team. So in your real time, this is one end point. This is another end point. All are called rest end points. How to access your API? So it is a one API. It is a one API. It is another API. All are okay API. Service is only one. How many okay? Okay, how many okay? Two points are there in our project. Clients are asking. Service is only one. How many end points in in our project? Twenty services are there. But each and every service we have around 10, 10 okay, end points. Two hundred end points are there in our project. You can't access these end points directly. Uh, these are called, I would say, sub resource. It is called root resource. Without accessing these root resources, you cannot access the sub resource. It is called root resource team. So, if the root resource, if you want to access the sub resources, via root resources only, you should access. If the root resource is not there here, directly you can access the sub resources. Without root resources, you cannot access directly to your sub resources. All are here okay, sub resources. In real time terminology is called it is a one APAR resource. APAR resource. How to call APAR okay, resource? We are end point. We are okay, end point. This slash v1 slash products is an end point. End point. End point. Understood. Same team. What is the end point here? Slash v1 slash products. It is called end points. Slash v1 slash products is an end point. Here, what is there here? Here, slash v1 slash products slash. 1, 2, 3 is one more end point. Here, slash v1 slash products and so on. Here, post is one more end point. Different okay, terminologies we are using team. Understood team. Team, are we clear now? Okay, are we clear now? Okay, everyone. Team, are we clear? Okay, are we getting team? Or any confusion team, please. Uh, sir, uh, the, is the request mapping, is it uh, mandatory to have that? Uh, Either v1 slash v1. your class level, it yeah. is optional, but recommended. It is called, okay, this is for global for all. If you want to versioning, it is v1 version, v2 version. It is optional. Even you will not use, not a problem, but and directly you can access uh, you know okay instead of v1 okay without this v1 you can access slash products slash directly you can access okay w okay. when will they change the version version sir if they add a new api they will change the version yeah i will tell i will tell when you should go for version api versioning i will cover uh, nagendra okay nagesh okay i will okay i will cover okay sir. Yes, REST controller is so the difference between controller and REST controller. If you use controller, now here we should use at the rate request to body and at the rate response body. And if you use controller, it will expect model object as mandatory mandatory for presentation layer if you use a rest controller here request to body is the mandatory okay, response to body is the optional request to body is the mandatory response body is the optional here request body is the mandatory now here 
here at the rate request to body is mandatory and uh, at the rate response to body is an optional either you will write or you will not write it that's it here no need any presentation layer okay no need any models are required no need any model objects to for for view layer or presentation layer as for view layer or presentation layer as as it does not support ui it does not expect the ui got it sir got it sir, everyone the sir could you please explain request body and response body again i mean uh, as it is optional response body is optional we are uh, still using response body and request body no for create one. for only more readability understandability i am keeping here even though you are not keeping no problem the application should work even though you are not keeping the chunk no problem application will work only for explanation i am telling here if you are not keeping a response body internally your spring rest will be added internally over response body that response body will take care to convert your response object to json okay but, so in, in okay, instead of developer method, will write so in this create method we need input and output both i mean we need to insert input and output both we will get output that's why we yeah, are using the for the yeah here only a response body is required here is optional i am not writing why here no input is required that's why i could not write here input here here only simple it is a get operation get means always data will be there in the form of uri post means data will be there in the form of body get means no need for other rate request to body only post only at the rate uh, you know request to body is required to convert this payload into object get operation means data will be there in the form of uri right how to extract the data in the form of uri i will explain now okay 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 <clears throat> now let's see so sir where we uh, need to where we need uh, input where we are expecting input we uh, will need request body right yeah where you are expecting to, input, yeah okay right. Input in body, okay. Input in body, not URI. Okay. Yes. Sir. See now, here is here is URI slash product slash one two three. How to read the data from the here URI? I would explain here. Here you should go for here at the rate path variable. ID string ID. So if you read the data from the URI, request to body is not required. At the rate path variable, at the rate request to param, at the rate matrix variable, these kind of details are required. Okay, sir. Suppose, okay, sir. Got it. Got it. If, yeah, if the URI is HTTP colon local host colon 8080 slash v1 slash products question mark query string id is equal to one two three now what you will do it is a query string if it is a query string how to extract the data from the uri instead of a path variable you will be right here instead of path variable you will be right here at the rate request to param id ID depends upon the requirement team. Suppose if URI structure is a different way, matrix param. What is a matrix param? I forgot to copy earlier. HTTP colon local host 8080 slash v1 slash products colon 
फाइव डी इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फाइव डी इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री इन एवर दीज काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज विल कम हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द इन डेटा फ्रॉम द यू आर आई मीन्स नाउ हियर यू शुड गो फॉर द रेट मैट्रिक्स वेरिएबल string id for team so this is see the uri structure based on the uri structure if you are how you are sending your data if you are sending in the form of colon id matrix at the rate matrix variable if you are sending data in the form of query string after after question mark how to read if you are sending data in the form of slash path path variable it is a path variable it is a query string it is a matrix so if you want to extract the data from the uri you should go for either one you should use either request param or matrix but you should not use request body request meaning itself is the request body if you are sending your data payload as a http request post body then only at the rate request body will use but response always will have response body only that's why it is called at the rate response body is there yeah request para means query string okay now now we'll see yes sir now. sir yeah please where can i use request mapping and where can i can use get mapping see either you can use request mapping if the method is get method you can use either a request mapping or okay you can use either get mapping if the method is post you can use either a request mapping or you can use at the rate of post mapping depends either one you can use understood sir yeah but this instead of request mapping you can write get mapping instead of request mapping you can write post mapping for create okay now next example is very very important use case team i will explain here understanding understanding http in rest if you understand this understanding okay okay http in rest if you understanding this nothing is there in if you understand this one nothing is there in okay, rest api team okay if you understanding this okay nothing is there in a okay, rest team okay understanding is okay rest understanding okay, rest understanding of http in rest is very very important to team now please try to understand and it will be good what is http protocol http stands for hypertext hypertext transfer protocol HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. What is HTTP? It is a stateless protocol. Now it is a it is a stateless protocol. It is a stateless protocol and used to transfer the data. Used to transfer the data from client to server used to transfer the data from client to server used to transfer the data from client to server now please see please see very very okay very very okay. important topics what we are going to discuss now team please try to understand team please so now it is a client now 
it is a client it is a server it is a client it is a server it is a server now see client will send a request to whom server what type of request to team what type of request here please concentrate http request what type of request here http request please concentrate please concentrate server will send the response what type of request here http response what type of okay, response here http response can anyone explain can anyone explain what is http request to format anyone http request to format team http methods get comma post comma so many are there there are had options all i don't need all i don't want to confuse everyone there no http request format now see if you understand this okay rest will be of easy team please try to understand yeah so first one is okay request line second one is request headers third one is request to body request to line request to header and request to body what is mean by request line what is your method uri version request header what kind of information is there the key value pair metadata information is there the key value pair key colon value request to body body mandatory for post method optional for other methods it is a simple team it is a one simple one it is done it is it is a one simple one now now we'll see okay example team simple example for get is a simple example Deeping get method request to format. Go to use request line would be get URI slash product either slash one two three get means always data will be sending in the form of URI either slash one two three or slash product query string ID is equal to one two three or slash product semicolon ID is equal to one two three the data will be get means always data will be sent in the form of uri not only for product username password whatever it is there data will be there in the form of uri request header who is calling who is calling your system who is the calling your client 
and who is calling when is calling date who is calling when is calling these kind of a request header request to body do you think a request to body is okay required here no it is a optional it is in get no need for request to body not applicable for a request to body here not applicable for request to body here it is a optional it is a optional not applicable for request to body here understood team no no now we will see here please try to understand team now i will write only first i will jump into our the next use case what about here http post method http post method request to format it is a post post method request format post slash product slash no data will not be sent in the form of uri data will be sending in the form of body is a mandatory is a mandatory if you know these concepts you can play in games like anything ready is equal to one two three name is equal to mobile name is equal to mobile understood team this is the way how how it should work name is equal to mobile okay now if you understand these two things team now it is very easy to us to continue the next step team hope you are clear of okay, everything team hope you are clear of okay, everyone here okay are you clear team now Similarly, what is your HTTP response body uh, response format team means now response line response header response body. You may think this guy is explaining basics. I know all these things. Yes, buddy, you know. Please wait for half an hour or okay, 15 minutes. You will be able to know this of importance. What is the status code? And what is the message? Response header means key value pair, okay, description about the response, key value pair. value pair response body mandatory mandatory always it is mandatory always it is mandatory always it is mandatory always it is mandatory how to do it here now okay, example or get post to whatever it is is same team how do you get how the response structure response line 200 message okay response headers may have some content type 
ఎడ్యుకేషన్ క్లాస్ చేశాను మన బాడీ రెస్పాన్స్ బాడీ here you would have here you would have now here what is the status of the product and all okay now list of the products if it is get right if you give product id product name all the products so response body is mandatory response body is mandatory రెస్పాన్స్ బాడీ ఈజ్ మ్యాండేటరీ ఓకే రెస్పాన్స్ బాడీ ఈజ్ మ్యాండేటరీ ఓకే నో ఎదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ గేట్ ఆర్ పోస్ట్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రెస్పాన్స్ బాడీ ఈజ్ అన్ మ్యాండేటరీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ బ్యాడ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఇయర్ ఒక ఇన్పుట్ ఈజ్ ఇన్వాలిడ్ then you should go for 400 in case of your request to body is coming it is a you are not able to process the request here okay, invalid product id is the error invalid product id just to team now again okay response is now please response is 404 resource not found what you are sending slash slash v1 slash products slash 123 is is not valid or something 50500 internal resource what my intention here always response body is internal server error always response to body is mandatory that is your understanding always a okay, response to body is mandatory unable to connect to server always a okay, response to body is mandatory status always a okay, response to body is mandatory what happened now here see this is 1 1 2 3 4 now are you clear team with this if you are clear now we'll start how to compare this okay http with our rest are you clear team okay everyone ప్రమోద్ సి ప్రమోద్ క్వశ్చన్ ప్రమోద్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ గుడ్ కెన్ వీ సెండ్ ఐడి ఇన్ హెడర్ ఇఫ్ వీ క్యాన్ షో వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఆస్క్డ్ ఇన్ ద ఇంటర్వ్యూ గుడ్ ప్రమోద్ ఐ విల్ గివ్ ఆన్సర్ సి వాట్ ఈస్ ద యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ఒక హెడర్స్ సి వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సి రిక్వెస్ట్ యుఆర్ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ body we will send business data and functionality data like like card number cvv number product id header will give headers are give information about metadata metadata means information about information about request data that is who is calling who is calling your application when is calling your application this information will helpful for to track your request is valid or not to track your request okay how to get the metrics of the request and and what is the unique queue okay request id okay every request will get some okay, request id it will kill one some 
you need q number see answer means you can pass id also it's not a problem but, but it is not a standard you can read the id from the header so you can pass but if it is in get means you cannot send from the browser in the uri okay, headers you, you cannot our our user defined our user defined of headers you cannot send from the browser okay, headers are predefined and headers are user defined user defined headers you cannot send from the browsers request uri and okay, request payload you, you should be pass from the you know our business data like products data orders data customers data if it is in get send in the form of uri if it is a post send in the form of body but okay what headers will have what information about your metadata means who is calling these products who is asking this information when is asking this information what is the guarantee whether you know uh, the request is a unique request or not what is the source of the request ip address is coming or not these kind of information you will be passing in the form of request headers pramod are you clear still you have any questions pramod pramod please ask yeah good now if you understand this now i am comparing this whole concept i am comparing this whole concept in our okay okay rest api team please please be hold on next to 15 minutes team i am comparing this whole in our rest api team please sir request okay. uri and request body both are same request uri and request not... body no no we only have three things right request line request header request body yes request line structure is request okay http method uri and version if okay. it is get, get method along with uri data also will be there if it is post method only uri will be there data will not be there data will be there in where body okay sir i got it basically request uri is just uri in the request yeah line. yeah so what is okay http request format so whenever your client will send http request means either this format or this format please try to understand sir your client will send http okay request means your client is sending okay okay http request please try to understand i am comparing my okay, http okay, request with my okay, rest apis what is there okay, inside of your http request to sir what is there okay, inside of your http request what is there okay, inside of your okay, http request please try to understand no you have a request line inside of the request line what is there you have http methods here you have uri here you have version Here you are, right? Here you have version. No. No, please try to understand. Thing. No, please try to understand. Method is, it may be a get, HTTP method. It may be a post. 
it may be a put it may be a delete so now how to extract see whenever whenever from your client you got a http request if it is a get the equivalent of spring rest annotation is at the rate get man or or at the rate request to mapping at the rate request mapping method is equal get method method is equal to get method now whenever here we will be using post means at the rate post mapping or you should use at the rate method is equal to post t whenever your client will sending put means you will be using at the rate put mapping thing or or team or or i don't know why r is missing or we will be using or you will be using put map if you will be using delete means what it will be happen at the rate delete t the rate request mapping delete at the rate request mapping method is equal to delete method is equal to delete that's it method is equal to delete okay that's it this is the way how it should work this is the way how it should work are you clear now see how to extract the data from the uri i am asking only here method request line means for the, the uri may be there uri may be there in the form of like this or uri may be in the form of like this or uri may be in the form of like this how to extract the data from the uri hey and never data will be there in the form of uri that means it is a get method only no other option whenever data will be there in the form of uri means that is get method only if it is get method how to extract the data from the uri if you want extract the data from the uri you should go for at the rate path variable you should go for at the rate request param and you should go for at the rate matrix variable at the rate at the rate request param at the rate matrix variable these three annotations are depends upon the for uri uri standards depends upon the uri data format how you are sending data in the form of uri if you are giving uri slash 123 you should use path variable if you are sending uri query string request to param if you are sending uri as uh, colon id is equal to 123 you should go for matrix variable 
Curry param is for only Jack RS. In spring rest, Curry param equivalent to two at the rate request to param. Curry param in Jack RS. Curry param okay, equivalent to two request to param. In spring rest, it is a request to param. That's what I told you. The concepts are same Jack RS and spring rest. What is varied here? The annotations will be varied. See, these annotations are used if your method is get to method to extract the data from the URI. URI, we should use all the above annotations. We should use above annotations. Now, once you will get the data from the URI, you can write what kind of business logic you can write. It's all up to you. Rest is all after reading the data from the your HTTP request, after how you are going into manipulate the data based on your business requirement, it's all up to your wish. So these annotations are used to extract the data from the URI. We should use above annotations. Based on the URI format, if your URI format is this or URI format, if it is query string or if you if your URI format is matrix, you should go for this one version. Leave it. It may be 1.0, it may 2.0, it's not required. Now, next one. If you want, okay, request line is done. Okay, next one is okay, request header. Sir, I am explaining in easy way, standard way. If you understand this, nothing is there in your rest. I never you are writing the code in rest. You should feel like, okay, how the my request data is sent to by my consumer. Hey, is it uh, API is only get? Okay, get. How they are sending data in the get? Is it in the form of a path? Go for this annotation. Query string, go for this. Matrix, go for this. No. How to extract the data from the headers? From the consumer, this guy is sending data in the form of request header or the rate request header is used to extract, to extract or read, read the data from the data from the request header. Read the data from the request header. Extract or read the data from the request header. Read the data from the request headers. Understood, sir. Once it is reading is done, how to use it's all up to you. Okay, your wish. Suppose if it is a not get team, underline, it's not always. If it is not get method, if it is not get, then only, then only this will execute. If it is not get, then only this will execute. Here it is. Request to body. Whenever this request to body will be there, I should use, I should use at the rate request to body annotation. Request to body annotation. This request to body annotation and, 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 please, please, at the rate, at the rate. Request mapping. One of the attribute is called content type. You are specifying here content type. Application slash XML or application slash JSON. What based on the content type? Based on the content type, 
it will convert it will convert based on the content type it will convert it will convert it will convert content type format to java object automatically that means you no need to write anything required that means if content type is xml xml to java object that is if content type is json json to java object so you are here your libraries your jars inside of your jars must to have jars be inside of your jars must to have here jackson jackson must to have here jackson if your content type is like xml xml to java object if your content type is json json to java object will be there understood this is called how the http request format comparing with spring rest are you clear everyone if you are clear this we will start our coding and all okay, are you clear this okay everyone team any confusions i will explain a okay, response from format team i will start my coding are you clear okay everyone please okay everyone team any confusions team here please okay, let me know any confusions any confusions team i would say here request to format is maybe xml request to format is maybe in json request to format is maybe html request to format may be a text if it is xml go for jaxb will take care if it is json go for jackson will take care if it is okay, html normal string will take care if it is text normal string will take care depends we clear team okay everyone team please okay. let me know if any if any understanding gaps are there i would help you team anil ram sunita narayan raj sagar nagaraj all all good team yeah no no we'll go for okay, http response format team http response formats how the http response format is there team no so here it is response line response line what we'll have here is we don't need to worry status message description status message something description here it is response header response header here it is here it is response body here it is a response body response body okay how this a response body is required sir here these are okay but a response body is response line response header automatically will come now here 
hear two things, sir. Two things. Please try to understand. Here two things. Here two things. You want only response body only. Only response body you want. Or you want. You want only a response body. Here only a response body only right they are asking. Okay. Now how to do. At the rate. Request mapping. Accept sir. Application slash JSON or okay, XML. At the rate response data. At the rate response body. This based on the accept. Based on the accept. Accept header. Accept. Accept. Keep accept. Accept format. Accept format. It will convert response object into object into object to that format that specified format that means it is if accept is xml then convert if it is accept is a xml then convert convert XML to convert Java object to XML. How using JAXP? If object if accept is JSON, then convert JSON to then java object to json using jackson using jackson using jackson it depends team it depends upon the requirement you should use team it depends upon the requirement you should use team are you clear everyone it depends upon the requirement we should use team now so here only response body, but my requirement is not. Not. We want not team. Not generally response contains body and body, comma, status, status codes, comma response headers if we want only response body then use use java object use only use only payload use only payload if you want okay, response body use only payload that is java object that means see please try to understand that means example is public it is a product response here here you are sending what only payload you are product only product okay response here only product okay response create product it is product okay request only product request it is only product okay request it is now if if we want send response body if you want response with body comma status codes comma headers then then what you will use team then you will be using public product response here then use 
response entity response entity so response entity will hold everything thing if you see your project source code or google okay, examples sometimes you are seeing only object sometimes you are seeing this one so when you should go for that one when you should go for this one you will seeing status code you will seeing if you want to pass any headers or you will be also passing body body means you are okay body means you are tailored only product response everything you should pass team everything you should pass depends upon the requirement you should pass team all depends upon the requirement you should pass everything got it team so these are the how the real time you will be using if you know this concepts team you can understand you know you can write the our coding or example easy team coding or example easy team are we clear team any questions team please ask any questions team about request and response are you clear team are we using all this annotations team now this annotations is used to to identify to identify the class as resource scope is class level here to access the resource to map the request to uri to resource map the request uri to resource scope is class level comma method level to map get request to uri get request get request to uri to resource scope is method same like post put turn delete we extract the data from the uri URI if the data is in URI path. We extract the data from the URI if the data is in, in, the, in the form of query stream. We extract the data from the URI if the data is in the the data is in the form of matrix para we extract the data in the form of request header Just to body to convert request data format to Java object to convert response object to object to response specified data format convert request specified data format the bracket xml comma json here to convert response object to specified data format xml comma 
that solid team so are we good team about rest shall we start good to go our are we clear team any questions any comment please ask me sir yeah I mean, when you should we should go for the matrix plan, and when we should go for the query plan. I will explain. I will explain while doing afternoon. I will explain. Okay. I will explain. Sir, I have a question. Like, uh, can we keep uh, request both as JSON as XML? Means, if uh, user is passing XML, it will take that one as well and JSON. If client is passing both, sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, both files. Can come again. Uh, can we keep the request as mean, both XML and JSON? Means if they are sending XML, then also. Called, the... I will explain. That is called a content negotiation. I will explain that example. Don't worry. Okay. I understood your question. I will explain in practical, in in layered architecture. So, what it is a like layered architecture and all. In layered architecture. no ui is required it's just controller layer service layer or business layer integration layer do dev layer this is what see see how to write this coding it's not a spring boot application it's a plain one new maven project web app next group id artifact id Rest. Product. Service. Click on one point zero. Click on finish. It will be moved into top. still it is not spring rest right if i move spring mbc that's why it's coming to here okay let's see spring rest okay now what are the dependencies we should add team what are the dependencies we should add what are the dependencies we are adding to here same dependency this we should add but extra what dependencies added i will explain to you close others So what dependencies are are required? You know, JAXB already in JAXN we have it. We can use the same team. We did in some examples, right? JAXN here. If you want JAXN, you have to add JAXB. If it is Spring Boot, that is different team. That we will explain in later. You want. JAXB, you should use JAXB. Okay, depends team. If you want only JSON is required, use only JSON. If you want only okay, XML is required, use only okay, JAXB. If you want both, use both. Depends team. This is what. basic dependencies are required in 
now go to our project structure now src main java src main java go to write our our structure team no new class com dot com dot who is my client we can use anything my client i will use here Reno tech config we can use mvc config we can use okay different configs are there here all configurations are available here we call it is the all pure pure team here pure configurations here are the pure pure configurations now you will understand why we learn mvc that is the reason i no need to explain now what is the use of root config what is the use of mvc config what is the use of application initializer config am i right team everyone do you require to explain again all this top team please let me know that is the region team we are not we have spent it okay, mvc for more to understand okay spring okay rest api mvc is mandatory mvc is mandatory team okay now why only problem here not everywhere dot stenotech dot config application in Sarulet because yeah yeah Sarulet okay dependency is also required one second go for no config what dependencies is required here Sarulet okay, dependency it is spring boot no need all this top team i will explain in spring boot stuff but it is purely spring rest that's good let's see now all okay that's got a result hope you know team no need to explain why we are added these okay, dependencies hope you know team so that's the reason yeah okay, record started okay then that's the reason team i'm not added please okay, let me know if you are expecting how to start our controller how to start our service how to start DAO CD here you have any some model objects are there you product request 
product response. Here. Morning, what are the beans are we have created team? Same beans I have created morning. Whether do you remember or not? We have written some stuff. product ID name let's see in my in my database we have any some product details are there I would prefer DB as per database I should write software I am using MySQL team <clears throat> now Do you have product details in database? I'm using IDE product P. Yes. Generate SQL queries. Super team. No product ID. How the Java object I should create? String product ID. Private string. Product code. Private string name. Pivot into quantity, pivot flow to price, pivot string, pivot string, Done team. Okay. Now let's see. Alt SR, Alt A, click on good. Source to string. If you want to insert any of the record, how this syntax is there? Generate insert. Syntax team, not will keep syntax here we will use the same syntax in our coding update update what is the syntax okay. we'll use only for few of them team Update. the controller public here public here you'll have only product only product team no need for this okay response and all hmm. list of products get all products list of products get all products this is the one get request to mapping class v1 these are at the rate get mapping you can use and request to mapping
value. Slash products. Method is equal to request to method dot get. Next one. Produces application slash JSON. Application add a return statement up. done here. Next one thing class product ready. ready. Now, what to do at the rate path variable ready string ready. Next one. So, next one thing. At the rate. Here it is called get only. At the rate. Next one public. Void or int or whatever it. Create products. Can give just one string or whatever it or we should give a response entity create product at the rate just a body the rate request to body request to ma mapping value is equal to slash product method is equal to request to method dot Post here if you observe, I need to write to produces application slash JSON consumes application slash XML. Sorry. Means produce means like a response, consumes means like a request, produce means like a response. Consumes means a okay, request. Okay. Consumes means a okay, request to team. Consumes means a okay, request to team. Okay. Now. Produces means a okay, response. Consumes means a okay, request. Okay, now done. Now, now what happened? Now first we'll see these three. Let's see team. Same methods are available in where? Service. Here. At the red compound. It. 
that's fine go to here next one DAO that's fine how to use DAO here you would use use child component it is a root component under root component i would be using to be in i need to add jdbc dependency and mysql dependencies i need to add spring jdbc and MySQL dependency jars. Spring JDBC and MySQL okay, dependency jars. I should add Spring JDBC. What Spring version you are using? I need to add MySQL dependencies. MySQL dependency. You have any pom.xml here. MySQL dependency is not there. MySQL. Have a dependency. What version of MySQL? Maven dependencies. It should be okay recommended. Either one is okay. Let us see. If it is not good, we should upgrade it if any error will come. Yeah, good. Now, go to here. It is my root config. Driver manager data source is equal to Done. Set driver class. Set URL. Set username. Set password. If you want, do it here. What is your driver class name? What is your all? Okay, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. Com dot mysql jdbc mysql driver class name is it uh, correct team mysql driver class name is it string only string only driver class name com dot mysql yeah driver class name what is the url here jdbc colon mysql colon 
local host colon 06 colon test db thread bin public abc template abc template driver manager data source data source data source now now JDBC template dot simple return new JDBC template of data source. That's it. That's it. Here, here in my DAO at the rate. ADVC template at the rate auto wire. Sorry, auto wire ADVC template ADVC template select all products means first we can use insert select all all products means now here what happened in here string string sql select query is equal is equal to okay team string sql select query is equal to done Select for is equal to done. Now, now here, now here, JDBC template dot template dot. Query query team JDB circuit template dot query SQL query SQL query comma new row mapper new row mapper new row mapper team don't ask what is this JDBC and all please new row mapper new row mapper team so what do you do here new row mapper add an implemented methods here you would write it returns team one by one product product p is equal to new product P dot set product ID product code all it will become product ID product code RS result set dot get string or whatever it index or whatever it column label name depends first product ID next product code if you are confident you can give column label or column index is one it's all okay depends team product id no product code next one product name next one quantity price image url quantity Price image URL description. 
rh dot two p four five sixteen. It is a price, right? R S dot flow uh, to dot value of string. It is a int right. Integer dot core Java team actual core Java will be using here. Okay, wrapper classes here team. No. Now here what happened? Done team. So okay, what it returns? It returns. It returns list of the products. It returns list of the products. Let's see if this is working. Okay, instead of testing all, we'll do okay one by one team. Okay, now first time writing DAO. So just to, if you are using select query, how it is working. If you are using okay, select query, how it is working team, we are okay, we are doing team. Okay, select query, how it is working, we are doing team. So return, return P. So here, right? Here, yeah, yeah, sorry. Written P. Yeah, good. Line, Line number, number 38. 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are correct, sir. 5, 6. Setting so this, you can give a column name also. I am giving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. You can give column names like strings, sir. You can give. Sir, why I should okay, struggle here means you should go for string product ID like that you can go depends depends sir instead of typing all I am using this one product ID you can go for product code you can give it's all depends here it is name here it is quantity Here it is price. Depends, sir. Either one you can use. Here it is image URL. Here it is okay, description. That's it. Image URL and okay, description. That's it. Either one you can use, sir. Any questions, please? Any questions, please? Okay, you can ask. Sir, here, why use aggregate component instead of aggregate survey? Sir, you can use, okay, it's not a problem. I use here, here, here you can use at the rate repository. Generally, in DAO, in service, you should go for at the rate service. See, all are okay, super class. No, I use it okay, directly, sir. Other red services, you know, super classes, other red component. Other red component is the super inter super an an annotation for other red service, other red okay, repository, and all. You can use happily, sir, if it's not a problem. See. Please, please let me know. Please let me know, sir. Any doubts? No. Oh, what about this one here? Okay, next one, sir. How to okay, extract the data from the here? Same here. I don't want to use more on this string. Sorry, is equal to only extract select star from products where 
where product ID or product code where product code is equal to question mark how to retrieve template dot re how to retrieve jdbc template query query for object Query. Query for object. Query. New. Query for object. Query. New object. New object. New object. ID. This input ID slash new bean property row mapper bean property row mapper what is product dot class what is the written type here product 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 to product what is there are here oh here get all get product to buy id it is get, get product to buy id no list here only one that's it now what happened change query for object Query for object, new object. New object, comma. New. Here, here is nothing. I am giving product dot class. That hope looks like I am good. looks like I'm good here no okay how to insert how to insert the data here here you will get just integer only how to insert the data string to insert the data not required for y in dao this variables and all required why dao see your implementation of your spring rest is only controller only team implementation of spring rest in only controller only team implementation of your spring rest is nothing but only controller only here this is not your spring rest Spring rest is only in controller only team. Here no spring rest here. Here no spring rest here. No. All good. Now here see. Please try to understand team. Please try to understand. I am using literally JDBC stuff team. I am not working any spring rest here. Please hope you are in. Hope you are following team. Okay everyone. No. String. Where is equal to. Here is my insert. My database. Insert command.
in set operations what i should use no need for all this stuff thing insert table insert how many records is there one two three four five six product code product name product quantity three three six what should i do six right Sixteen. How to insert return? Did you visit them? Update. Update. Sorry. How, okay, how many arguments team here? I have six arguments. Dot. Get. Product ID or product code. Product ID. How come it is in given here only six? If you want insert one, two, three, four, five, six. Product code, product name, product description. Do you think this will come automatically? Product ID also we should give, right? Go for here, product code. Insert. Elite work team. Product code. Name. Quantity. Image URL. The description. Will it work? Data too long. Column product to code at row one. Okay. Insert done team. What is their first product? It is automatically in getting team. So that's fine. Now here you need to give product code. Six columns you should view team. After product code. Name, quantity, price, and the description. Name. Name. In database, what is the name? One second. Name, quantity, price, image URL. Get quantity. Get quantity. Get price. Get image URL. Get a okay, description. Get a okay, description. Done. Okay, let's see. What is this? What is this team? Query is required there. SQL. So SQL instead of query. All good team. Awesome. Now we are good. You can perform okay, delete also T. Create, update, okay, retrieve, delete. It is a okay, simple one. Let us see. I would add a okay, delete also. Why we should do delete? Delete product T. It's simple one, that's why I want to go. Delete from delete. 
delete from where 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 product code is equal to where product code is equal to here update only but query will be executed instead of all only product code it should pass instead of all only product code it should pass instead of all only you should go product code team are you clear that's it now clear that's it team hope you are good okay everything is clear team here nothing is nothing is uh, okay uh, new okay hope you are clear now service go to this uh, service team go to here service also you should not use all team only this will be okay, okay controller only from here everything is core java you should not write all only controller only team from here okay everything is core java team let's see at the rate auto wire product dao product dao now here what happened instead of here you you have huge business logic is there i am not writing all this logic team here just i am getting some simple card all products here team here single one no need for here is only one object team get product by id here team dao dot create products you will pass the product written as a integer as of now i will do later here team same here get delete product delete product okay team generally delete product we could pass as a string no need pass as a object generally go ahead here you can also see here try to pass only your product code okay. code don't pass anything here generally don't pass any complex object from their team okay now so my DAO also done. Now come to my rest controller team. How it, it happened this rest controller? Sir, sir can you please explain? Hello? Sir? Yeah. Sir, yeah, can you please ask. explain? I mean, get product by ID method in DAO? Get product by ID? Yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. Okay, I will explain. Give me time, I will explain. Yeah. Okay, I will come again. Give me okay one second. Okay, I will okay I will come again. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Get product to buy ID. Okay. Now here I will call simple team. Get all products. Here. Here. Here, what you will do? service dot get product by id here int rows is equal to into rows create product no if rows greater than or equal to zero new 
response entity see response entity will have whole http status code response entity will have body response entity will have http status code all team c three arguments are there like response entity body header and everything status code what is this status code okay body header status code okay depends team what you want to pass you can you can pass okay response code okay response entity response entity body headers http status body means product save successfully status http status dot 200 what is accepted 202 okay means 200 200 what is headers headers may or may not pass if you want to pass headers also you should prepare and you can pass it's all okay depends upon the okay, requirement if any error are there you should prepare the okay, response object again here you should pass you can write your logic in case of error if rows greater than or equal to zero then only this one if rows okay less than zero prepare this okay, response like that you should prepare it in. Done. go ahead and create it the okay, delete team at the rate request to mapping value slash product slash id it is also delete team id id so okay here for deleting id is mandatory otherwise it is a problem method is equal request to method that is equal to what happened here here consume is not required here public delete response entity string delete product here how to delete the element you have to pass some id or code now here see at the rate path variable i will explain when to use path variable when to use query variable string id let us assume that you will not okay now here see done okay next one team add return statement same here delete product delete delete product delete product team now let us see here deleted of successfully product deleted successfully you may ask some question okay requirements okay depends upon the requirements team now here here product by id also is okay now my requirement is retrieve the elements based on the product by id and name get only but product by id and name so what you will do at the rate request to param id 
comma at the rate equals to param name string name let's do the request to buy id and name different stream request to buy id and request to buy name request to buy id and okay request to buy name so here so many okay arguments are there request to buy id okay request to buy name so now here these two and also okay next one at the rate request to param you want all the products in which order ascending order or okay descending order string string sorting order string sorting order next one other eight request to param thing apply is pagination also required what type of records sort index no end index string sort index string end index Now, if you see here that you should go your now see generally don't think too much on this here here i am doing a okay, hard coding so now here when i should go for request to para and i should go for path variable i am okay, explaining here okay, that's it you can give mix up of this both also here here no need calling db and all of it's not required team please here just i want to show the okay, difference okay that's it i want to show you a difference okay that's it team i don't want to call all this stuff team please writing service writing dao again i don't want team my intention is when i should go for uh, product id product code Product code, product description, product price, product quantity, product image URL. Product ID is equal to product name is equal to product code is equal to description good price quantity one image url okay. no that's it okay no that's it team i want you give the description when i should go for a request to param when i should go for path variable team hope okay, everyone is a good team team complex object means what a class will have another class that is called complex object akil okay hope yeah team okay did you get it team this flow okay everything is got it team so here we have get all the products here here only okay response produce is used for okay response represent okay, representation here also production here also response representation here produce okay response consumes means request both is available here other to produce is used for to okay, response representation consumes for request representation here produce okay response representation no 
request here. Your spring rest means only in controller only team. Remaining all are our business logic team. Have you seen okay, remaining anywhere your uh, spring rest team? No, remaining all are our business logic team. Here, okay. Okay, everyone team. Team, are we good team? Okay, everyone till now, please. Now, now I am deploying my okay, application team. Now I am deploying my okay, application team. Now see it. Now I am deploying my okay, application. Run as MVN installed. Run as okay, MVN okay, installed team. Run as a okay, MVN okay, installed team. You should go here. Software. Tomcat. Here. Bin. Ready that. I'm closing all mornings. Oh, yeah, necessarily my system will be hang out again. CD Okay, is it my build is done? Once it is done, I will start. I will deploy my application. Go for a BAPS. Is it done, team? No, one error. What is the error? What is that error team? Maven JDK 8 JDK 8 compiler plugin. I need to inform to Maven, please use JDK 1.8. Let's see, sir. Now run as MV install. Oh man, compiling seven source files. Let us see. Please take first of all update, Maven update after that. Yep, yep. Any issues with my DAO? Did I change anything? Nothing, 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 nothing. All good, yes. Yes, build a lot of success. Refresh, target. I'm copying and okay, deploying my application. Started my Tomcat. Not this one here. Start up Tomcat. Let's see team. Yeah, now team. So go to your local host. Go to your local host team now. Please try to understand team. Local host. Twenty twenty one is the port number. Started your Tomcat 2021. Manage app Tomcat Tomcat. No C 
CT. What happened? This is my service. So, how to access this service team? Please try to understand team. I have a one service. I have developed one service team. Please comes to here. Now, here is my provider. Here is my consumer. Here is my provider. Here is my consumer. Provider has provided one service. Now, he will not share blindly to. He will prepare the Swagger documentation also. How to prepare Swagger documentation? He need to prepare the Swagger documentation team. How to enable the Swagger documentation? Please try to understand how to enable the Swagger documentation. Number one, add the Swagger libraries. In palm.xml. Number two, write swagger configuration file. Number three, access the swagger. Let's see what is there inside of the swagger. See now what kind of dependencies we should add. Go to here dependency. You need to add swagger dependencies. Group ID, artifact ID, version. Group ID means IO dot spring fox, spring fox, artifact ID, spring fox hyphen swagger2. 2.6.1 another swagger dependencies in your real time if more dependency is there to avoid this confusion you should write added swagger dependencies added swagger dependencies that's it here wait wait What man? I O dot. Another one is iPhone UI. Spring Fox iPhone Swagger to iPhone UI. Swagger iPhone UI. Spring Fox iPhone Swagger iPhone UI. Spring Fox iPhone Swagger to. That. This is the way how to do. Spring Fox iPhone Swagger to. Spring Fox iPhone Swagger iPhone UI. Done. Okay. This is what how to start how to do. Okay, team. Now let's see what kind of configuration you should write inside of this configuration. You have to write Swagger configuration. Either you can write separate or you can write wherever you have MVC configure adapter is there here. You can write swagger also how to use configuration enabled mvc all we can use here enabled swagger to swagger to how to write bin public swagger you need to use docket object docket object So now return return new docket documentation type dot swagger to dot select select to dot go to next line API Predicate predicates dot not not color selector request handler selector 
dot base package what is your controller package team see as of now you can assume that i am adding swagger related configuration team okay that's it i am adding swagger related configuration team okay that's it okay, don't think too much on this dot build team swagger related configuration dot api dot predicate dot api sorry dot api dot predicates build done so now so now it is one once it is done next 20 swagger related stuff public wide add resource handlers add resource handlers already here i have added here here only we should have a register team registry dot add resource handler swagger iphone ui dot html dot add resource location class path colon slash meta nf slash resources no need to remember this you can copy paste from google also but only to here that's it registry dot same again okay one more stuff add resource handler where my swagger web jars and all it would be there slash web slash web jars slash star star same here class path meta nf resources slash web jars class that's it that's it team done okay my swagger configuration is done let's see team spelling mistake web jars any spelling mistakes are there web jars done resources spelling mistake resources done meta nf class path this time verifying class path done all are done team let's see now i am adding this swagger i am informing please scan this code and you will provide the swagger what swagger will provide the information i will explain okay, everything team as mvn build it will clean and it will build again i'm stopping my template Let us see. Okay, now done. Refresh. Just to make sure these jars are coming or not. By NF lib Spring Fox. Yeah, Spring Fox jars came. Now I'm trying to deploy team. Copying, going to kebabs, delete old one, deploying now. Started again, target. That's why it will give an error. It started now. It 
still not yet started. Now you got it team. Started again this one team. No. Now team, let's see. How to enable swagger? B2 slash API iPhone docs. You got the swagger one. But I want not JSON. I want Swagger UI. Swagger Fun UI dot HTML. Why it is not happening? It is a but I am expecting data. Swagger iPhone UI dot HTML. I am expecting data. Go for my swagger configuration not selector not base package it okay now api dot predicates not cnotech dot rest controller swagger configuration team based on this swagger configuration only it would be happened apis I would give request handler directly selector dot any dot selector dot any dot Paths, path, selectors dot, any, any, then build. I'm informing scan. Okay, any package you can do scan it. That's what I'm trying to say. Any package you can scan it. Team. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. I will rebuild again. I will look at deploy it. Run as build MVN clean install again. It will be deployed. See now, blindly you will not share this Wagger documentation to your consumer. Why they will give? See. Your, if you give swagger documentation to your consumer your consumer will start hitting to your service your consumer will get null point exception number format exception it's a bad impression on us before you start you know before you give to your consumer you need to test developer rest service tools REST service and testing tools. What is the use? One is browser also you can use. If it is only for get service, browser can use. If it is postman, postman is one of the tool. Another one is using swagger also you can test it. How? So now. So all these tools are helpful all these tools always your provider will expecting input as either json or xml only all these tools will be sending all these tools will be useful for to send a request as a json your provider feels like request is not coming from postman or swagger request is coming from your consumer only like that we will test all these services are working fine properly or not so using 
postman we feel like our real consumer will send a request same kind of request we should be replicate by using this postman or swagger developer will test scenarios if it is working fine then only we will share the swagger documentation to consumer then only we will share this swagger documentation to whom consumer team how it happens okay, let's see team how it happen okay let's see team let's see let's see build success refresh copy go to here paste go to here start your at it should work team here swagger you are should come swagger will come by seeing the swagger you should not tell it is a java dot net or php team let's see started or not Come get started, everything started. Load this config classes and all. Let's see team. Let's see now. You got swagger? Yes. What happened? Swagger is not coming team. Swag. Swagger URL is not coming. Am I using correct API documentation swagger API version? This is perfect. New document builder path selector any all are good team. Enable swagger to enable swagger to also is good team. Nothing is impacting. Enable swagger to enable swagger to only is there. There is no other one. What is the URI? Swagger slash. is not is not working is is not working swagger url is not loading using 2.6.1 version spring fox swagger we have had enabled swagger to added this did you added this select team Perfect added is not working. Twenty one answers team. I go dot use this two point nine point migrate two point nine point. This guy is asking. No, this is mandatory. Without this, swagger will not come. This guy is simply is asking change your version Spring Fox 2.9.1 base URL MV and clean. Enable MVC. What is the difference 2.6.1 under this? swagger iphone ui.html i will use this one team maybe slash api slash docs slash api slash hello world is okay slash v2 
slash api slash dex but the swagger seems not getting enabled one second if you remove this if i go sometimes index.html Let's see. Asking to migrate these versions. Swagger iPhone UI dot HTML. Let's see. I don't know what uh, what was the exact problem with the 2.6.1. Yes, slash API V2 docs. That's what I'm trying to say. Only Swagger iPhone. The right URL is Swagger iPhone UI. Swagger iPhone UI. I tried most of the answer. Final solution is the right URL is Swagger iPhone UI. I am using Spring Fox. This that is not using Spring Fox. We should not use Team because if you use Spring Boot, you are using Spring Fox. If it is not Spring Boot Team, you can't use a Spring Fox Team. This guy using IO Spring Fox in this version. All our Spring data enabled it everything is okay how to access swagger iphone uh, i will try this option team if it is not no all are is not working spring fox swagger spring fox swagger which after the you can access the swagger ui Spring Fox data rest, Spring Fox bean validator, not required all this stuff team. Only two versions are more than enough. Enable Swagger to the code is okay team. Whatever you are writing code, the code is 100% is perfect team. See for version 2.x, we are using these two versions team. Spring Fox Swagger to Spring Fox Swagger UI. Which version they are using 3.0.0? Let's see. 3. Point, go to our palm.xml. Is it okay? 3.0.0. Good. Is it okay or any issues? Let's see team. Run as MVN build. I'm not writing anything team as per uh, okay, suggested here for 2.x for version 3.0 on dependency is for version 2.x we are writing this only two teams spring fox swagger to spring fox swagger ui once you will add this how to access our swagger base path swagger iphone ui index.html after access this swagger using this one team swagger iphone ui iphone slash index.html let's see
refresh go to here paste tomcat will take time team let's see is it uh, spring fox new versions or yeah spring fox new versions only will come let's see team. it started now yes it's dp colon local host our application swagger ui slash index dot html Yeah, started team. Don't worry. We'll go to here. Swagger iPhone UI index dot HTML. Somehow Swagger is not working team. I will let me okay, explain. Okay, I will check team. But before Swagger write, no problem. Go for this one. Now you will access this one team. Let's see how to test our application. I am using Postman. I am using Postman team. Now here either swagger or postman developer has to test the team the developer has to test using how your service is working fine properly or not go ahead here how to frame the uri how to test it team how to frame the uri and how to test it using postman it is yours go to here get all products how to prepare the uri slash v1 slash product slash v1 slash product why it is happening resource not found yeah one second in your mvc config have you written anything root config mvc config application initializer slash only everything is okay slash product go for your controller slash v1 Slash v1 slash product what happened 2021 let's see go for here 404 resource not found it is in get only right slash v1 slash product what is your product code in db product code p12 let's slash product p12 it 404 somewhere problem team see i will give my dummy one what is dummy one here slash v1 slash product all our other eight request to params this is also get get 
at the rate request mapping at the rate rest controller application of initializer team okay good mv perfect good yeah i need to change this base package team this is the problem otherwise how the controller object will be created team see here please try to understand team so my dispatcher servlet unable to scan the controller how to provide your this name that is the problem okay let me explain revert it to my swagger old one old one it should come so here my controller unable to scan unable to scan this my controller unable to scan team this one arm dot cnotech dot controller understood com dot cnotech dot package i i did copy paste here i am using here same here com dot cnotech dot service team otherwise this also will not will not work or or you could use com dot cnotech okay that's it your controller and service are okay, available here com dot cnotech dot service comma you can do it com dot cnotech dot dao base packages team comma you will use com dot cnotech dot dao under two team if you want to use global you can use com dot cnotech also it's not a problem team it's all okay depends okay we clear team now let's see that's why you should have strong on spring core team hope you are clear team okay what was the okay, issue team earlier yeah yeah i am using okay older version team now let's see now okay, run as mvn build let's see okay yeah, dot select is there uh, account and everything let's see team should work why i am checking it is getting 404 without creating this controller how it will be happen i went here i went here i check here com dot cnotech it is wrong it is my okay, MVC, it is my child container. Here, Swagger itself is not enabled because of not loading this class. Let's see. Refresh. Copy. Paste. Start. This loading team, let's see. Now let's see team. How to enable the swagger and all started. here swagger iphone ui.html excellent what is happening here document documentation type bootstrapper org dot spring factory dot swagger iphone ui.html request handler mapping defined in the class path let's see slash v1 unsatisfied dependency injection documentation plugin bootstrapper 
ORG spring unsatisfied okay, dependency injection. All these okay, errors are will be a helpful team. We are developing from this scratch project. We are developing from this scratch project team. I have removed this part of this this form. It works. Open SAML where it is working in our palm.xml go to here dependency hierarchy open saml it is not working for us here is the issue let's see i have removed this part i am not using this open saml first it is not spring boot application unsatisfied error creating the bean class enable mvc configuration and also and swagger 2.7.0 i think swagger compatible jar issue what is the swagger jar compatible issue team if i hit here Five hundred internal and server error. Let's see what is the error. Create argument. Com dot stenotech product controller. There is already bean method. Slash v one slash product. There is already product controller bean method. Slash product, it is a slash product by ID name. Let's see here slash products it is a post one, it is a it is a delete one delete one slash product I am giving de delete product okay, let's see the still issue there is already controller bean method get all products map all are good let's see team what is the use of this one create document spring boot plugins bootstrapper error creating bean with give me one minute time team Springfox integration interest documentation. It should not happen, team. Gradle. So. Now let us see. Dependencies all are okay. Dependencies all are okay. Swagger and all okay. Spring Boot version. All are okay. Thing is okay. Spring 4.x. Spring 4.x. Swagger compatible version. Swagger version of Spring 3 and 4. Spring Fox
not spring boot team spring boot easy it will come let's see i will update this one and i will try what change we did team what change we did here we did uh, what are the change we added team now Look, nothing uninstalled org spring framework team is there any spring boot versions are we using yeah i did some uri path changes team let's see slash v1 slash v1 and all we did slash product product by id product by id name team get let's see slash product it is a post team everything is good now i will build and okay deploy once team simple only why it is taking too much of time let me check go to here root config slash service slash dao com dot stino tech dot controller in mvc config done here nothing is there good let me start not again refresh copy paste Startup dot ba. should work team nothing is uh, challenge here it should work okay, let's see possible we will upgrade this spring, okay, spring version also team don't worry we'll see is it started started team let's see Go to here. What is our uh, URI team here? Perfect team. Now product controller will come. List of operations. Excellent team. C team. Good job team. Team. We got okay swagger or not? Yes. You got list of the products. You can test it from here or you can test it from there. It's all okay. Depends team. Go for here. Slash V1 slash products. From postman. It is a get operation. Something is a problem with that your DB side. You can see your logs. Slash products. Slash V1 slash products. Let's see. So in this swagger we can test it what is the problem 
so see swagger will have okay, everything what is the error codes what is the uh, you know okay, input here it is a get team try again what is error internal server error body dao is the issue dao is the issue team processing the request cannot get jdbc connection team could not get jdbc connection super team go for your dao what is the problem here you got jdbc template object how to get jdbc template object here you got this one mvc configuration during your application startup only you got this data source and all team now it is okay, okay. everything is okay com dot jdbc dot mysql okay, driver or not mysql username and password okay. everything is okay or not team everything is okay or not if not okay now what we'll do we'll do one simple poc team here what simple poc okay instead of okay, testing from okay, end to end public static void main string rbs you should not wait until you okay, deploy into your okay, application team application context see how i am doing application context context is equal to new annotation config annotation config application context what context i should load i should load only this one why i need only this dao stuff i don't need all this stuff now hope you guys are understand team okay but what i am doing context dot get bin off i am using dao team what dao this dao okay, repository dao DAO is equal to done. Now system dot out dot print ln DAO dot get all products team. Let's see what kind of output will come. Where is the issue? Now we can debug the issue. What is the issue? Loaded driver class could not get jdbc get connection unknown initial character at index oh super error it is here is the error unknown initial character sql exception received from could not get unknown initial there any spaces are there team here in root config spaces http colon local host double three zero six hence i modified parameter using the SQL statement I am using SQL 8.0 it, it, it does not have this file maybe if I migrate to SQL 8.0.1 team it, will it work modify the two params let's see I will go with my SQL version team one second what versions i am i am using team here we have what versions are using here same version we could use here means my database should support what what version let's see
rebuild again i will run it from here so that the okay, debugging will be easy from my stand alone team so okay, instead of you will okay, deploy your application into your server so again you should start your server doing all these things i can debug here from my local if it is working okay everything is good i will deploy my application into server team looks like my my properties all are good team okay, nothing is a okay, happen team go to here product db run as i'm testing how it is working you should not able to connect to your db means i thought is there any issue with our issue with our configuration looks like configuration is all our good team swagger also is able to work swagger is working swagger ui is so from swagger you can test whatever you want you can test it if you observe here for this one you don't need any back end call team see let's see for second one you don't have any back end call here if you hit using swagger see all are parameters okay id name sorting is okay required or not you can give whatever values team write out you got the response or not because it is nowhere okay db call see why it is giving response if you go here here you are hard coded okay response and you are sending team so at at the rate okay, response body even though you are not providing internally at the rate okay, response body has the okay, responsible to convert your java object into json because of application slash json here got it team it is a request it is a okay, response everyone got it team now if you go for yes yes pramod if you go for this one team dao let's see run as you should have some patience and time team okay that's it perfect to team okay issue is with uh, mysql version team okay that's it see okay i did okay debugging easy in my local now i copy this one whole file i can deploy easily into my server team now i am deploying team Okay, team. Now let's see from this swagger will test now. It is a simple one. It is a backend call. Products means get all products. See how the swagger. swagger can you tell it is a Java dot dot PHP team? No. You can't tell it is a Java dot dot PHP. This swagger documentation will be. Share it to all the consumers team. Okay, Swagger documentation will have each and every parameter. What is the param data type? What is the param data format? What is the param input and what is the param output? Everything. What are the error codes? Everything is available team here. Now here see your Swagger is ready now. list operations get try it out see you got all the products information team how many products are there in our database all the products team how did you find our google guard uh, our google guard clearly is telling that uh, is received from i thought by seeing this i came to know that my lower version is not compatible with this version okay here here is not mentioned that exactly but i came no okay, i came to know that with eight 
with version 8 default character set has changed when you add your characters set you will get these kind of issues so i thought okay let change understood sir yeah mm. so let's see so now sir see now okay if you want to post how to post data either you can post it from here and you can post it from here it okay, depends how to post to team so try post to data it's not a why it is there inside of the param post means it's okay different uh, here it is yeah here you want post the data how your image okay description is earlier how many records is there in db team so now last one is double one two three six now you will give product code okay okay description image url is http colon amazon.com slash products name is iphone something price is product code is p13 product id is 11 quantity is only one dot it's not object team why it is coming here we should see save the product create the request body method is equal to post produces consumes okay see team class product param it's not param team it should be like json product to product you should have any request to body team at the rate request to body it is good only at the rate request to body no no issues team here at the rate okay request to body it's a good only at the rate request to body let's see try it out what is the error? Close. Super. We love it, team. How to how to test this kind of issues, team? How to slash v1 slash product only? See. But it is a how to test team. See. Go to here. Our product DAO. Now you got get all your good team now. So what do you want to do now? DAO dot create product. How to test it? New product. Whether it should be okay, inserting or not, we should okay, fix it team. Here it is, here is okay working means you should learn what is the issue. There you would okay, insert a team. Product to code P14 Is there any data as of inserted team? No. P P14 Description Name Size, image URL, quantity. Image URL, Amazon.com, size, something is called. Name, iPhone, description, good product. So if I same object only will be coming from where? 
create product. Same object only will be coming from where int into rows team from the your backend system. Let's see why it is not happening. Run as dev application. What is the issue? What is the issue team? Bad SQL grammar error. Okay, insert into values nested exception SQL exception column count does not match the value at row one. Column count does not match the value at row one. Now, if you give what is the product um, code team product code product ID ID now you can give let's see that's it now it should work it should insert a team happily no value specified at param 7 yeah here in our code team Product dot get product ID. That's fine. So this is the way how to how to work team. Done. Go to your DB, verify it, check it. If it is inserted, happy. Deploy again your code into your server team. Understand team. Do you want to test it from postman team? Team, please okay, respond team. Respond team, please. Hope you got team. Okay. Did you get it or not? Okay, end to end. Okay. What happening team? Yeah. Now. Okay, next one team. What is the concept of Content okay negotiation. What is the concept of team? Are we good or you want to more scenarios how to test it from this swagger and all? Are we good team or you want more testing team? Please let me know team. I am okay, happy to help team. Sir Swagger, I I need uh I mean, how how, I, yeah. how we added Swagger into our project? I mean, after after the dependency added, I, we have added dependency first, and then we have created that Beam method. That's yes. Yeah. What I need. The thing is, uh, this we did here wrong uh, scanning. That was the reason our controller itself is not loaded. If controller is not loaded, how this swagger can able to find all these operations? That that I understood, sir. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I have never used swagger. That's why I am asking. Yeah. See, you need. See, hope you know how to add these okay, dependencies. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's after right. adding dependencies. It may be a Spring Boot. It may be a REST API. You have to add this configuration in swagger. What this configuration will tell? If you want any specific base package, you can give. You are informing that Swagger 2 version. Any base package. Request a handler. You can give any or you can give base package. Base package means you are controller package. Whatever package you will give, it will scan only that one only. Paths means you can give any you are okay to points. It is generic code, it is copy paste for every project. Any package, any endpoint. This one you should add into your configuration. Unable swagger to that's it. And we added resource handler also. Resource handler, you should use our what HTML file swagger where your swagger jars are there if you go your maven dependencies spring fox 
here you have meta nf you have your jars are there your web jars are available here inside of these locations your web jars are available here spring fox spring web somewhere here your your web jars are available here that's why we are providing meta nf resources web jars please read this you know add this into class path that's what i'm trying to say Okay, Understood, sir. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Yeah. So you are written that the iterate enable swagger is there at annotation. Once go for that. One. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, mandatory, sir. This is. Without this uh, annotation, uh, swagger document will not come, right, sir? Yes. 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 But yes. in application, I have seen this type of addition is not there. But we are, I will get that uh, sort of documentation for the project. Yes. In Spring Boot, no need. Spring Boot automatically will come. Okay. Okay. I think you have seen in Spring Boot. Spring Boot, okay. Everything. Okay. Yes, sir. Spring Boot only, sir. Everything auto. Yeah. And Pramod is asking one more scenario. Let's see. What is one more scenario? Post is done, get is done, product by ID, product by ID, get product by ID. I want to ask P13 record, try it out. I got P, P13 in database, P13 in database. My product ID is 1212, product name is iPhone product code is 13 quantity is 1 price all data is coming or not yeah so now see if you observe here you don't see any kind of you don't see any kind of uh, ui here it is a swagger i will share this swagger documentation to dotnet guy php guy irrespective of the okay, technologies guy i will give this swagger documentation you are not specific to what technologies here you you are giving your you are giving your user guide hey use this user guide you can access my service you have a okay, kind point details you have okay you have a okay, kind point here what is end point it is it is a okay, kind point here by seeing this okay, okay to point can you tell it is a java dotnet or php no use this end point you will call my service if i am the java guy if i am the java, the my consumer code how to write the consumer code see file others i don't know about my service everything using swagger only i will write my consumer if i am the java new others maven project triple zero one spring rest consumer sorry group id com dot Sinotech. spring rest consumer spring rest consumer this is spring rest consumer click on finish no so what are the dependencies are available all dependencies let us see we'll, we'll add it. it's not a problem you know i am the java consumer i am the dot net i don't know about my service now how to call this one let us see how to call the, this one? Okay, let us see. Please try to understand. How to call this one? Or how to call this one? One get our post product by ID and all. See, I should know this one. If I pass P12, what response here? I should get a okay, response. Okay, that's it. Now here, see. I am using some main method. Team, sorry, Maven. Update the project. I will get JDK 8 here. Yeah. 
team folk okay are we good at provider and team team are we good at provider and okay everything is good at provider and team all in swagger no no need to so based on your code swagger will tell everything based on your code your swagger will tell get means if it is get means it will give params see get pass the parameter based on your source code swagger will tell automatically sir got it any questions sir we will learn content negotiation then we will go for consumer end sir now we will see i have a one provider very very important sir i have a one provider sir please i have a one provider please try to understand i have consumer one consumer two consumer one consumer two consumer three no no what happened let's see consumer one hey and consumer two consumer one is asking let's say this consumer is amazon this guy is ebay this guy is flipkart this guy is telling hey my i want request is xml okay response also is okay xml i need to send content to type is xml application slash xml and accept is application slash xml content type will look represent is request to data format accept is response data format means okay, input is xml output is xml i want to hear this hear this and hear this here is what happened content type is json accept also is json request and response now twist is there here flipkart requirement is okay different flipkart okay what is okay flipkart requirement you know my input is means okay input is xml output is json content type is xml this is accept is same service for one consumer i should give okay, xml another consumer i should give json another consumer input is xml output is json no problem it is requesting negotiation if you go any shop you, you will bargain your prices right okay negotiating your amazon hello provider can you please help me request and response is xml ebay hello provider can you please help me request and response in json flipkart hello provider can you please have, okay help me request and response is in the form of xml and you need to give here simple sir other rate request to mapping here here produces is equal to application slash xml comma application slash json and consumes is equal to wherever this kind of a requirement is there application slash xml comma application slash json based on you are asking your request sir it is as of now if you see here as of now i am i am giving only here i am giving only here json you are asking json you want json as well as okay, xml no problem i will give you need to write any coding you will ask i will accept only xml okay you are accepting okay xml means i will give okay xml only my jacks be automatically will be converting over okay, xml and give that okay, xml to whom your provider this is the way how you will be configuring all the places to
Understand team? So, both test and response is there. Now, we will give here consumes. Understand? This is the way how to do it. So, sometimes our interviews are asking. Hey, my service should support both XML and JSON. Few of the consumers is asking XML, few of the consumers is asking JSON. How can you help out? No problem, sir. I will help out because of configuring this way. Now, in Swagger, if you see here, in Swagger, you can see only JSON now. Now, if you deploy, it will show you both JSON and XML. What format you want? What? format you want let us see understand sir sir got it concept did you understand sir you don't need to write any code please try to understand team okay did you get it team okay everyone yeah yes sir now let's see you will deploy your application run as build yeah This concept is called content negotiation. Refresh. Team, hope you are a good team. You are happy. All the concepts. Okay, are we good team till now? They still build is going on. We are covering everything team. Once it is done, we would start our consumer code also. It's 15 to 20 minutes team. By five by six, we, we can close it team. Okay, don't worry. But I don't want to miss any topics as per our agenda team. It's like free means like you know, it's just a time pass, no. Team, if you are really, you know, getting concepts and happy, those who are willing to give, please give your feedback about this okay, workshop in Google Review Team. It would be good. I ping that link in, in our chat team. You can go here, write okay, review. If you give it here, go to here. You can provide your review team how this course from yesterday to till now. One means least, five means highest. You can write about how the course and all. Okay, it would be good. I have pinged that in in Telegram page in our chat team. Refresh. If any errors will be there. Let's see. We started my Tomcat. Anyone is giving team? Let's see team. My Tomcat is started now this okay, deployment is done now if you see swagger team i am refreshing same swagger list of operations get all products see XML is there and JSON is there. If you want XML, try it out. HTTP not acceptable. Not acceptable. Why not acceptable? We'll see team. Accept by default it is sending text slash HTML. 
if I go from my postman, accept. I am using accept header. I am using okay, accept header. Application slash XML. So application slash XML, it is giving JSON only accept. No, I am not giving as a header. I am giving header. Sorry. Header. Application slash XML. Is okay, headers will pass this kind of information team. What type of data will be? supported application slash xml not acceptable why not acceptable oh did i deploy this core team no right the deploy team at the rate produces, at the rate consumes, okay, did I do? See, when you should get not acceptable means you are not, your latest code is not there. It is itself is saying it is not acceptable team. Now you are writing both at the rate produces, at the rate consumes. So it should work team. Application slash JSON, application slash XML. Let us see. I think we did not deploy, no, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Did deploy? I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me stop it. Let me. Give me. Please give your reviews about this two days workshop. It would be good. Yeah, let's see. I'm copying this one. I'm copying this one team. Go ahead here. Once my, oh, still my build is not done. That is the problem. Earlier also I did the same mistake. Let's see. We'll wait one. Once it is done. Refresh. Copy. Now I would start. I would start. Now let's see. Let us see team. It is started now. It is started now. Now let's see. Go to here. Let's see. Go to here. We deployed. What is the problem here? Otherwise, two drop downs, drop downs will not come. 404 is not acceptable. 40. It is coming JSON only headers. Accept. Accept. Application slash XML. 406. Not acceptable. 
not acceptable at the rate produce produce with multiple data formats this is not spring rest should support both xml and json we have to give here see ours is okay accept not headers application slash json and application slash okay, xml do you want write here headers okay we'll write a okay, headers headers accept our try is both are okay headers not required sir but anyhow accept we are accepting json as as well as okay, xmls third one we are accepting json as well as okay, xmls it is okay Okay, now here, no produces. We are good here. Almost all good. Last one, okay. Anyhow, delete. We are not using. That's good. Let us see. Safe side. I am adding here. At the rate XML root element. Let's see. Again. 406 means it is not accepting. Now I am giving it will accept to both XML and JSON. It will accept to both XML and JSON. What you want it will give. Let's see sir. Run as build. Run as build team. So we'll deploy into here. Yeah, now refresh. Copy. Started again, Tomcat. Let's see, once it is started team, how to do it? Okay, deployment is done team. Done. Started team. We yeah, are started. Let's see. Go to Swagger. We are waiting still. The startup also is done. Products. Now it is see. Okay, XML it is showing now. Inline model it is showing. Let's see. Try it out. Four zero four not acceptable. Why team? It should work team. Four zero four not acceptable. You know, accept. Accept application slash. If I give okay, if you not give anything, default. Do you know one more shortcut? I will change team now. Do you know one more shortcut? If you are not specified anything, whatever first is there, that one will come team. If you want to do a okay, reverse, okay, let's see. As per my my R and D earlier. Okay, let's see team. Okay, request mapping. Request mapping. Accept JSON and all. Okay, let's see team. As per my understanding, it is get all products right. We'll change only only one thing team. Okay, let's see. 
as per my r and d earlier if you will not specify anything accept first okay, okay which one is there okay xml is there it will give a okay, xml only team okay, let's see team run as mvn i'm stopping here done team refresh refresh let's see meanwhile i will delete if you are not specify anything accept default it will take why it is accept it is taking default is your application slash json oh god why default it is if i change here my swagger is not taking team okay let's see okay request header c it is taking json let's see done refresh done i am started my dump cat if you observe here i applied only for this one started your dump cat Yeah, now started. Team, I have swagger. Team, it should work. Team, but the concept is that only see. You now, if you observe here, by default, you got a XML here. Except why it is coming in JSON only. Except why it is coming in JSON only. Something is problem. Team. If I will not give here now, if I will not pass any okay, header team, application slash XML issue team, the code it should be working team slash v1 slash products. Did I change only slash v1 slash products only? Yes. Accept also should I change team? Not like that. Last kind of final team. Okay, let's see. Team Maven. Update project. Maven build. Sorry, run as MVN build. Maven build. Ashus, Sivashankar, if possible, you can give Rivi Nara and Nagaraju Ram. Let's see, team. I would stop my Tomcat now. I will delete it. I will add freshly. Should work, team. The combination is okay. This one only, team. The combination is okay. This one only. Whatever you will pass the input team. So based on your request, it will give that okay response team. Based on this okay request, it will give that okay response team. Build success team. Refresh. Copy. Paste. Started your tomcat. Started your Tomcat team. Let's see it is started.
406 should not come to him. Why it is coming? You should know. Started? No, still it is not yet started. Okay, done. Let's see, team. We'll go to here. Swagger. List of operations. Get products. XML it was taking team, but still it is taking JSON team. But not sure. But anyhow, the code is perfect team i will show why it is happening but so if anyone is asking if you want to support both xml and json team you have to give produce is equal to application slash json and consume is equal to application slash xml team if you give this now here what happened you know based on your accept team it will automatically convert your object into json or your object into xml it will give it to you team okay now last one how to write the consumer code? Let's see. I don't know what is my code team. I want to access my application. How to access? I have a swagger. I don't know about anything about my service. I have a swagger team. How to access? I will go to here. Using swagger. I am writing not UI team. I am writing one simple look, rest template com dot synotech dot rest client product client code. Please see. Please look, let me know. Same like dot netting guys also will do. Same like PHP guys also will do. I am Java. By following Swagger, I have a Swagger documentation. Swagger documentation will have endpoint, will have everything team. I have Swagger. I need to pass this Swagger. Swagger will have, hey, you should pass as your input like this. Swagger is, Swagger clearly is there. You should pass as your input is required here. Now here, what I will do from Swagger? I will test from Swagger team once. I will test from Swagger. From my swagger, I am getting okay. Everything is working. Hey, if you see, I got okay XML here. From my swagger. If I give okay XML here, if I give JSON, I got okay JSON here. Got it, team. Product by ID we are getting. Why first one is not getting? Product by ID we are getting as headers. Accept is JSON, XML, everything is okay. Produces same like that one only. Okay, anyhow. So see, I'm getting team. See, I'm getting or not. So if you see here, product by ID. If you give okay, JSON, I got JSON response. If you give okay, XML, I got okay, XML also team. So now, what type of acceptance we are you have the uri take this uri oh i am closing everything about my provider code i don't know what is my provider string uri i don't know what is my provider string uri i have my uri now what can i do rest template Rest template is equal to rest template. Rest template dot get for object. Have the URI. What is your response? I need to prepare my product class here. If I am the Java, based on I am the Java, based on my structure. I am the Java guy, based on my structure. I need to prepare my Java object, Java class. If it is .NET guy, .NET guy will prepare .NET class. If it is PHP guy, PHP guy will prepare the PHP class. 
not based on your provider code based on your swagger swagger what fields are there what properties are there in swagger based on this swagger this property this property should be same while converting your json to object and okay xml to object this property this property should be same team otherwise object of xml will not happening team doesn't matter to which technologies you have based on this swagger documentation every technologies guy will be prepare the model object in their own of technologies team even if you are using angular also based on this swagger angular guy will prepare the angular model classes in angular team that much of important is for swagger hope you got it team what i am trying to say doesn't matter provider is using what technologies your provider using same technologies you will be able to know do you understand team i am not i am not opening my provider code now i should get my response if any problem is there i should blame to whom my swagger i should ask my provider i should send email in email we have a outlooks are there i should send email to my provider hey i am i am trying to access your service i am not getting this is the uri this is the request this is the response i don't know here you can give class abc class of xyz doesn't matter team ultimately while converting so if it is let's see let's see. system dot out dot print and then product let's see any, any issues will come we'll see run as java application see it is calling to your fraction of seconds it is invoking to your backend systems and you got the response your java object automatically will be converting in your json automatically will be converting into java object that java object here it is playing here team. are we clear or not okay everyone can we clear team yes sir everyone yeah now depends upon the requirement here only uri if you want to pass the uri and header so the rest template okay if you want to pass the Post one, sir. Go for post for object. Here, here is the your post URI, sir. Go to your swagger. Everything swagger only. Everything swagger only. Go to your swagger. JSON or XML or whatever it. See. Try it out. What is there if you want JSON? So what can we do if it is a product? See, this is my product. It is my product. You will test it now. How to test it now? Description, you can give whatever it. Image URL, you can give whatever it. Name, you can give whatever it. Price, you can give 1.1 .1 default values. Product code is length is P14. Product ID, 111. Quantity is one. Submit it. Four hundred bad request. Don't go for because you are giving JSON. It is accepting as a XML now. JSON. Change it. Change it. Okay, everything. Yeah. Now. Okay. Try it now. Product code only, it is the problem. P16. Product ID 222. Quantity is 1. Write out. What happened? No response from server. Why post is not working? It should work. What is the error? URL is this one. Accept is application slash JSON. Response to body, no. Content yes, why 
what is our response body here if it is our provider what response body you are not providing anything sir anything here you should give products are saved or successful like that's it 200 means of success you got the success or not okay response code is equal to zero means okay look success response address means zero that's it so if you want to access your service this is what how how you can if it is post right same sir what you required post URI is required I will show you sir it is the string URI post now here a request request means product to product is equal to new product hope you got it morning class I have prepared somewhere product object same product you can use it I'm telling now here is okay different here is okay different product to product is equal to new product you have to prepare this product object manually new product Now here product one, you have to prepare the object. Pass this object to a request here. Response type is you can give string dot JSON or whatever it. According to your requirement, we will do it here. Understood? Here it is our responsibility. You have to prepare everything are here. Prepare your Java object. Developer has the responsibility to prepare the Java object. Here, post to URI. Developer has the responsibility to prepare the Java object. At runtime, this Java object will be converting into JSON or XML, whatever you want, okay, it will be happen. That's why okay, you have to prepare all the requests, sir. If you want to okay, delete one, so many things here okay invoke post api if invoke get api invoke means or calling get api if you want okay delete api invoke okay, delete api so how to use okay, delete operation rest template has given asking can you write the snippet of the code how to call your apis using okay, rest template only we are using how to call your okay, delete APIs? Pass your okay, delete URI, delete operation URI, string okay, delete operation URI. How to delete? If you don't know the variables, okay, ignore it. It is optional. Okay, delete one okay, string, delete URI. That's it. You will pass the okay, delete URI. This is the way how how you can write your okay, REST client code. Sir, I don't know what is get or post or and delete. So use exchange method to invoke any type of REST API. How REST template dot exchange, sir, exchange. See, you are HTTP method you are using HTTP method dot get method if you have any headers use a okay, request entity if you don't have any headers okay leave this product to dot class it is a okay, response that's it string here product Depends upon the requirement, you should use this okay, exchange team. Rename. Why rename? Template dot okay, exchange. String HTTP 
method http entity we don't have any of entity classes we don't have any of entity classes sir if you at that time you should go for this one headers means if you are you are i is of expecting you are i data plus as as well as headers at this time you should go for a exchange i will show you headers also don't worry rest to template headers headers for get how to pass the headers sir see headers headers rest to template of headers sir how to pass this headers depends upon the requirement you should use sir exchange method you are passing this headers depends upon the requirement you should use this one headers what is header value here accept accept application slash i'm removing this headers i'm passing to where here string http headers this request entity i will pass it to here that's fine rest to team so using rest to template we can call our api it will be written as a okay, instead of object directly it will be written a okay, response entity response entity no okay okay here product response response entity why here here directly object we will get it here okay http response body will get it here if you want body along with see how many values you will get it here how many values you will get it here response entity i told from the consumer here if you use individual methods you will get only body only here you will get it to body see so many you will get it here body headers status code all you will get it it depends upon the requirement you will be used sir okay rest template is used for if you use okay, it is always a okay, response entity from the okay, response entity what you want to get from the okay, response entity you want to get only body okay you will take body from the okay, response entity you want to get you want to get along with the body you want to get status also system dot out dot print ln product is done md response entity status response entity dot get what is your status status code get headers dot what is the status code here get status code what is the written type of this one http status you are print this status dot get let's see you will get everything team I'm commenting this unnecessarily why it is i gave all this one so i am showing one is called i am showing how to execute invoke the get api using get for object using get for object to team other one is using exchange team how to call this exchange okay let's see run as 
Java application. See, status is 200. You got the product details or not? So who will take care? Your object should be converting into XML JSON. In your form.xml, you have given team. Now JAXB is there. You have JAXON is there. What acceptance you are giving internally, your Spring will take care to convert from the provider. You got JSON. Your REST template or internally will use convert your JSON to Java object. Convert your XML to Java object. When I should go for a exchange and when I should go for direct methods team, if you need only object to go for direct methods. No, I want, I want body as well as I want status code as well as I want some okay, headers. My business logic is depending along with body. I want all the details go for exchange team. Depends upon the requirement. Rest template, you should go for exchange or you should go for get for object, post for object, put for object, delete for object or for all HTTP methods, you should go for only one. That's all team. Hope this is what I am trying to cover this two days workshop team. Any questions team? Team, did you get it team? Okay, everything about Spring Rest or any questions team? How to write provider, how to write consumer, how to enable swagger, what is JAXB, Jackson, content negotiation. Team, are we clear team? Team, hope what you are expecting it is cover team or still it is pending team? Team, please share your feedback team or ask any questions team. REST template is used. We will give some notes on this REST template, sir. So Swagger is a REST user guide okay, documentation, sir. It is a REST API user guide documentation. User guide documentation. It contains information about API URL, comma, method, comma, request to data formats and response data formats. So it contains information about request request to comma response elements under their data types, sample values, and also it contains list of error code. It is in the form of JSON or YAML file. Provider will share, provider will prepare Swagger document and share to consumer. Consumer. Get this Swagger document from the provider to write the REST client code with the help of Swagger document. Prepare request and response beads if required. Use REST template 
plus m in spring which is given by spring so call rest api call okay rest api so rest template has given so many methods based on the swagger which method you want invoke you want invoke get method call get for object get for entity get for object based on the swagger if you want to call post one post based on the swagger if you want to call delete get what are the required for input and output so input is for what ui output is for what product response whenever you give this uri it will invoke your your rest template is calling to your rest api and give the response is in the form of either json or xml this json automatically will converting into java object who will take care rest template internally will be using jaxby or to convert that json to java object pramod what is your question is any other class which can convert request json to java object and pass it to be i am not getting anil okay did you get it anil pramod i am not getting your question i mean okay instead of a product you want it i mean instead instead of jackson ap any other ap is asking i think sir like uh, no, no, uh, no, i saw, no, no, no. i saw on i saw on the internet bean util something like that one no no, util... no 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 bean util okay. is bean util is used for to copy the properties from one bean to other bean bean util will not convert java object to json json to java mm -hmm. object that's wrong yes yes yeah be utility is used to to copy the data from one of them okay be uh, means, another be uh, okay means be util can copy all the inner classes also or uh, i am not sure about it no okay everything as long as the inner class properties should be same from source and destination be it will copy okay okay so i have class a inside of inner bc other mm -hmm. okay, destination being also is same structure it would be copied okay, okay. got it sir. hope i have covered okay, everything team what you are okay, expecting and all okay those who are not okay, registered in okay, telegram still please join in okay, telegram you will get continuous okay, updates team i am planning to take some solid principles every developer solid principle is mandatory okay registered okay so okay, subscribe in sinotech you will get it okay okay updated uh, videos links and all team